Yes. Super Academic Dean of Northern Marians College. Ma'am Carlina Ongan, Faculty of West Visayo State University, Haniway Campus. Of course, we have also here the very gorgeous Hani Salvacion of Fellowship Baptist College, Cabancalan City. Miss Rochelle Navarro of Palawan State University, BSHM students of Colegio de Santa Ana Rita, de Santa Rita, de San Carlos Incorporated College Department, BSHM students of Altabas College, Teresa Municipality Management and Faculties of Iloilo State <laughs> College of Fisheries, BSHM students of West Visayas State University, Haniwai and Nima Milan Campus, BSHM students of Cap State University, and of course, the faculty and staff and the students of Gimaras State University. So we would like also to greet the presence of our very for every vibrant gentleman, general best of course. In the room, our whole or our speaker is Engineer Roldan Paul Texas. Well, to start with this afternoon event, may I call on Sir Michael Bilarma to introduce our speaker. Thank you so much, Doki Joanna. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. So today, this task of introducing our next guest speaker is both an honor and privilege. Our next speaker will talk about best practices and challenges in project planning development. Our speaker earned his degree course of Bachelor of Science in Software Engineering at Central Philippine University. Continuing his professional growth and development, he graduated the degree course Master's in Computer Science at Central Philippine University. After graduating his bachelor's degree, he started working as data technician at SPI Technologies, Publisher Services, Content and Information Solutions. Then he also works as a system analyst programmer at Central Philippine University for five years. Then at the same year, he became a faculty at his alma mater. He also worked as a freelance WordPress developer in First Impression Media Calgary. Then the following year, he became mobile developer of Android at Rogumi. And for three years, he became a software developer at Pharmagallin X Innovations. Our speaker also works as a system engineer at AirNav Technologies. And currently, he is a radiology information system specialist at Midavis Asia Specific. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome and please give a massive round of applause to Engineer Roldan Paul Pescos, MCS. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for, for inviting me here. Uh, it's a privilege, uh, you know, like uh, share ako sang. Uh, experience ko as uh, uh, IT and not only IT but uh, uh, somewhere in engineering. So uh, 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 before I start, um, uh, I clarify ko uh, Software engineering uh, is uh, also an IT course but uh, uh, what differs us from the other courses is uh, we apply uh, uh, the engineering process to our projects so uh, we have uh, you know requirements uh, requirements the design uh, implementation uh, up to the uh, last testing and uh, uh, also close out and support so difference lang computer science sila mga scientists sila nga create sang tools nga ginagamit sang iban while ang uh, while kami we just concentrate more that's why uh, software engineering has uh, we have uh, different uh, software project management as well as 
software development. So don't worry, I discuss ko sa inyo will be applicable not only in just software but also kung ano ano pa dapat mga project mo either engineering or construction. So let me share my screen. Okay. All right. So, best practices and challenges in project planning and development. So, uh, before I come start, uh, I like to ask the audience, uh, guys, who among you here has experienced a difficult project? So, I like uh, audience to be, uh, you know, uh, to respond and also share. So, sino di kaagi? Uh, uh, sino di kaagi isang ginatawag nga project but you think nabudla yan kagid ya. So, it could not it could also be not just um formal project but uh, it's like nga uh, sibling nga uh, may miga ka or may migo ka na ba mix nag back out ang akon nga MC sa wedding. Pwede ikaw ang mix. So, Glain ka? Ano ako ng brown di man? Doon, di ba ako kabalang mag-MC? Ano brown ko di? Kasal pa. So, have you, okay guys, uh, question again, have you experienced a difficult project? So, I'll wait for like uh, a minute. Uh, I'd like to see your response. Itong oh, nahuya, tanan. Either nahuya or not to you. Good lie. Uh, Megs, okay man ako niya, Wadjo. Yes. Okay. Hello, engineer. Good afternoon. Yes po. Uh, uh, at my end po, from uh, maybe at uh, maybe one point in my life, uh, be it a project or something, I have experienced some difficulties po. I, I think I, I'm saying uh, on behalf of the others, they are also, they also experience some challenges and difficulties at one point in their lives. Yes, uh, okay, uh, difficulties pero napahibi na kamo ayan. <laughs> so, um uh, okay, uh, so basically uh, tanan kita. Uh, actually nakita ko mga DM na kamo, mga master at ni og pati nga wala kamo kagi project. So, uh, everybody, uh, I believe uh, most of us has uh, encountered uh, not only uh, obstacles in our projects and uh, uh, but also, uh, it caused us na stress. Nga, haba ko, ging tunaan ko man eh, pero nga, nabudlayan ako. Uh, and so, here we go. Um, uh, this will be, uh, this is because um, there are some, uh, there are not only challenges, but also best practices, which is, uh, I'm going to discuss. Uh, so, uh, so, Failing to plan is planning to fail. So, uh, in any project, means kan ging kibot ka man or ging preparahan ka, maging preparahan mo man, uh, if you did not have any plans, as in, bound to fail ka ba? Pero ang chance na nga mag-success ka kung wala ka plan, uh, may swerte, kung swerte lang gid yung mix may ara gid. So, uh, so, let's start with my... Uh, best practice number one. So hold off, kick off meetings. So ging butang ni sa number one because uh, at the start of the project, uh, basically, uh, ma meet ka mo na, uh, with the clients and uh, with your team, and you will celebrate. Oh yes, we are going to start the project. Uh, we're going to kick off. Kung sa iban pa, uh, like sa may uh, uh, construction, nag-start sila ba, may ginatawag din na nga doon groundbreaking sila, may pala na da, or uh, 
uh, wherein ang client mismo mas start na sa sangiyang pala yun before ibutang so that's a uh, that's an example of a kick off meeting so sa akin experience when I started uh, uh, with a, a construction company in uh, Manila dito ko nag OGT uh, it's Flor Daniel uh, it they were involved in um, uh, mining uh, plant uh, construction and every time mag start sila sang bagong nga project ano na kadto kami na tanan sa conference room ang tanan langan na involved sa project hindi tanan niya sa company ang team who will be responsible for uh, during the project project so conference room kami may speaker phone sa tunga uh, uh, we have uh, uh, Americans on the other line and uh, Amuna, uh, we celebrate. Uh, ako, uh, my name is blah blah blah. I will be the project manager, and with beside me today, uh, amuni ang aton nga mga stakeholders. Pakilala na actually kung kisagal gadwa amon nga speakerphone. May isa lang kami nga naga host. Eh, usually ang PM man kag uh, eh, pang ano sa uh, uh, introduce yourself. Uh, uh, pati ang team who will be responsible for that development. So that time, wala pa sang video. So uh, wala sila kabalaw nga sa table, ara na ready na mga pizza, mga coke. Uh, as in, once matapos lang yun ang kick-off meeting, start na dahil ka nanay. So uh, kick-off meeting. So anong ginaubra gini sa kick-off meeting? So uh, ang purpose gid sa kick-off meetings is establish ground rules for how the project will move forward uh, aside from that uh, you, you need to establish clear expectations regarding the roles and responsibilities uh, i cannot stress enough nga ah, kailangan mo gini ah, you have to uh, uh, say sa tanan nga ay uh, uh, sino ang will be responsible for uh, for giving out the the, the requirements sino ang key personnel nga mangin kanto uh, anamon if we are trying to uh, do this system and we're trying to gather requirements sino man bi ang sabing min nag kailangan namin mag, mag connect sa internet sino kanto anamon so uh, roles and responsibility not only sa side sang inyo nga team but also ang side sang client nga sino ang mga key users sino ma sino magamit sang inyo nga system uh, sino gid ang mga ang affected gid kag ang asig, pati ang mga asig, signatories so set the project's uh, objectives and goals so um ang nami sina is every time uh, you start the meeting you, para sa diin ang ining project para sa diin ta na obra and uh, it could be as simple as uh, muna na uh, i had the uh, uh, nag sideline ko sa una uh, reservation management para sa hotel ang um, ano na kami uh, ang owner ang boss ko sa tupad ang ang receptionist pati ang boss niya man nga shift manager yun istorya na eh kami uh, okay ma start ta uh, subong uh, istorya na sila gamay ano mga encounter namo nga problema nga nagamo kami ni eh, yun uh, for sure ang nakapirma na ya ang ano for formality sake lang pero uh, very very important gid ang ang, ang kick off meeting because not only uh, not only it will formal uh, formalize the start of your project but also um you recognize you make everybody aware nga ay may gina may gina ubra ka project not only to the the people uh, the clients pati ang sa mga ano na sa ilang department sa company nila nga ay okay we are going to start this project uh, prepare for change so Ang unang ginaubra for uh, uh, for kick off meeting. So uh, some uh, some experts nagambal nga uh, hindi lang kontinto sa isa ka kick off meeting. Actually, sometimes uh, most of the time, kung dagko ng imo nga uh, dagko ng imo nga organization and or dagko ang systems, you need to have uh, other other teams, other companies wherein mangin partners mo sila. So for example, uh, in my case, uh, radiology, kami sa radiology, uh, as you not known, uh, radiology is ang mga ultrasound, uh, x-ray, uh, MRI, damo-damo pa na. Uh, so uh, what we do is our system will connect to all the connect to the all the equipments and tell them nga ay 
may examination ka mo dire. So, padala na mo ng listahan. Ang scan-scan na sila. Ang picture, isave na nila. Ang ginakantuan ng equipment is another company wherein the, their, their concentration is only archivi, ar, archiving some pictures. While after sina, uh, isend nila balik sa amon. Oy, may link na kami sa ano, pwede na ako makubra report. After naman bali, uh, sa amon system, makubra sila report, we will send it back to HIS. So, ang HIS, uh, depende, uh, it's the hospital management system. So, multiple systems na sa. So, possible sa isa ka hospital, they have this hospital management system, patient records management system, uh, laboratory uh, laboratory information system, uh, aside sa accounting nila, may payroll, may, may, I don't know, may HR, uh, may aside pa ng billing ang uh, actually damo damo the, depende sa kung ano ang i-require sa client kag syempre sa kung anong budget nga lang kasi kaya ko amo lang ni but uh, uh, the company that I work on to uh, uh Medavis uh, Medavis Medavis uh, takes pride in in the system because not only it makaubra ka report ang pinaka big yagid nga advantage is uh, it will allow you to connect with the other uh, systems ang mga ang strong point nya wherein ang bangon miskan la inang inyo system sa hospital why may problema kay bala na mon kuon yo man kami gyapon so <laughs> medyo mahal lang kay german rate pero at least uh, amo na so once magdako ang inyo nga nga, nga dako ang inyo nga project you will have multiple partners nga partners uh, for the equipment partners nga mag ano sang server partners nga mag supply sang iban iban nga system so generally we have another kick off meeting uh, that kick off meeting is within uh, the partners lang kag sa amon nga team so before kami magkadto sa client at least hindi kami mahuyan o oh, teammates uh, what happens if uh, magbisyo ang ano sino kadtoan namon uh, kay kay sino una sa naka-assign or sa kay sino una sa nga contract uh, so at least bala namon hindi kami magsala sa actual naging nga kick off meeting with the client so for example may nag uh, uh, sabi nag-absent si Amoni eh, sino kontak ko namon at least uh, kami as uh, uh, as uh, partners bala na namon kung ano isabat namon in kaso imang kotoran kami direkta sa client sa another kick off meeting so uh, i advise that uh, every time mag uh, uh, kick off meeting ka mo uh, or mag every time start ka mo sang inyong project you hold sa uh, kick off meeting so aside from that best practice number 2 amo to namuno ko man kagina is you emphasize the project's overall strategic purpose um Actually, kung pwede lang tani, ulit-ulito. Not only sa uh, kick-off meeting, but uh, kung pwede lang weekly. Okay? Uh, as long as the client, your team, knows the purpose, ang ginaubra ni ng project, hindi sa magduwa-duwa kung ano nga, okay, ano pa ubrahon ko? Oh, para sa din kung ginaubra. And every time may bago nga request, ano, may bago nga request si client, Get wherein it will mess up everything. Once na balaan mo kung ano ang project purpose, hindi na magdodua. I mix. That's only a want. That's not a need. So we will uh, we will entertain that. We will list that uh, uh, that uh, request of yours. But uh, we will have to confirm with the project manager and with your uh, client if they will uh, if this is a need. Nga implement this. Kag Kung gamiton mo gudman na uh, basi ma bakal wala monthly report malang na yung isa quarterly report inapadale mo kay galit manog deadline na and ending once uh, four times a year mo lang galig gamiton so may depende so that's uh, that's my uh, uh, that's my suggestion emphasize always the project's uh, overall strategic purpose sa imo nga team and also sa imo nga client so Next one is also actually um, um, create a project charter. So uh, what is a project charter? Actually, the project charter is a document that 
says yo this project has exists or the project was here so actually do ano siya do identity lang na uh, ang ining project uh, under approval uh, ay ging acknowledge sang client gi acknowledge sang key users it's a document nya uh, those ano man siya do semi uh, semi plan man siya pero ang ging butang dito may deliverables ka nang uh, sa amo ni sa ano maabot sinong responsible sinong team so actually naka document lang amo mala ging ubra nyo sa 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 kick off meeting First ini ya, ang project charter is a document nya okay sino ang mga key users sino ano butang lang da ang ano sini is it's like an identity uh, ano kita nyo man guro sa may mga DPWH tabla nga project kita nyo nang do billboard na gani may project subong nga mo ni ngalan sa project this is where your taxes go ano budget sino ga ubra pila ka bulan ang ila uh, pila ka bulan nila nga kailangan para matapos ini so uh, semi yeah, semi nga uh, medyo amo nang concept sang project charter but this one is much more formality and at least miara ka mo hawid nga okay miss kan ngay kalimta na ka mo sang cleanin nyo at least bala nyo nga you did uh, a project so this is our project charter so next uh, next is track and report progress actually very important na siya so during a project it is uh, uh, it is recommended tingid uh, gidya nga i document mo ang tanan nga aging ubra mo for this day the yon ipabalo mo na si ban okay ano na natapusan ta for example uh, the project currently is the, on this phase uh, ano ang nagkulang sino na sino may sala sino sa diin na ayon ang dinata ayon sa sa diin na tayo nga face sa diin nga task nga nag delay ini uh, something bala may kailangan orderon or may napi sabi nga nag bisyo hindi matandog and uh, ang nami lang is uh, when you start tracking the progress makita mo gid nga uy ga matamat na lapit na lang matapos atong project or something makita mo from there on makita mo pa lang ah okay we are i think we will have a delay on these points okay mi naka depend ini siya sa at halad no kabudlayan si amo ni matyag ko kailangan niya ano ni kailangan niya sang another nga bulig so uh, I, I i will try to assign an assistant to him or her para matapos da yon ang ang progress or ano ang mga nabudlayan sang imo mga teammates nga uh, ano gini ano an, an, anong kulang so at least i, from here you will know uh, as a, as a leader or not only as a leader actually as as a, as a team member you will it will also have an advantage nga kung isa pud damo damo na kamo sa isa ka team you get know all na at least may tulukon ka okay <laughs> lapit na lang ako ha bali next week ma start na yang task ko hulaton ko lang matapos kay amo ni so um okay 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 so, so okay i'll try uh, okay so um uh aside from that uh aside from tracking your uh, your progress uh, it's also uh as a project manager you need to also to report your progress not only to your uh, uh teammates but also to your clients so that they will know if uh, uh their side has a problem so uh, uh, aside from having uh, uh, this uh, best practice it's better that you have uh, a tool wherein you can uh, uh, wherein you can uh, it's like uh, in excel but in terms of uh, reporting uh, you can have uh, like I, I, I send mo sa iban paalim uh, uh, you need to like uh, communicate it uh, with the uh, uh, the clients and uh, your key stakeholders the progress of the project so uh, ang, uh, in our organization in our company we only we actually we use a crm uh, the crm uh, includes uh, not only the uh, the project but also the support tickets uh, uh, the project uh, uh, project uh, deliverables uh, when uh, uh, including the budget and uh, 
what has been paid. Actually, we are able to view uh, how much uh, the customer has already paid and pila pa ko lang. So, uh, but uh, the most important tool here is you use uh, an email. Uh, uh, one of our uh, one of the habits are actually uh, practices that we do in uh, in our in our company is uh, uh, during a project after after uh, I finished my task or something my task is uh, already done but it's not really completed I will uh, email uh, I, I will it uh, make an email uh, where I'm at and uh, probably I. Uh, I will say uh, this will uh, uh, end uh, tomorrow or by the end of uh, this week. So uh, uh, I will send it to my uh, I will send it to my uh, boss first, according uh, with uh, with my team. They have their own uh, uh, task. So after that, the the team leader will collate all that uh, in an Excel like. Uh, uh, spreadsheet and that spreadsheet uh, will be sent like an end of day uh, progress report so every day uh, we send uh, uh, an email to our clients customer uh, clients uh, specific to that project and as well as the key holders uh, regarding the project so aside from that uh, uh, best practice number uh, five is break down large tasks to smaller ones. Uh, when you are working in a company, uh, may experience with uh, the company or already a long experience. Uh, actually, we do not have such a problem because uh, through experience, we have known that uh, this task is a very large task. So let me give you an example. When we start a project. Uh, the supplier will uh, will will procure uh, will give uh, give us the server uh, already formatted uh, the window server and uh, it will be our turn to to ready the server to to install all the the needed uh, database uh, applications needed uh, for the management and of that uh, RIS uh, of our uh, risk. And not only that, we have to configure everything, uh, to configure how uh, we communicate with the other systems. How do you want your reports to be? You want it to be PDF, HTML, text, or do you want uh, every time the uh, every time the the examination has started, that's done. We, do you want uh, updates for that, or do you do you want uh, you only want the the time when the document is signed and released? So that's how uh, we started. So it will take us like uh, five days. Uh, uh, five days. That is uh, uh, already uh, the maximum. So if we are uh, fast, if the internet is fast. Uh, we can uh, probably do it in two to three days. But before, uh, when I started, uh, uh, when when we started, when we say server installation and configuration, five days. <laughs> so um, that time I was only you know well versed with installing the database, but uh, configuring the communications with other uh, other systems. So. <laughs> uh, it it uh, what I usually the, do is uh, uh, thankfully is, uh, my team leader is uh, very <laughs> resourceful. So what we do is after I'm done with my task, I I will email my another uh, an expert from Germany and say, sir, uh, can you teach me how to <laughs> configure so. Uh, it started, uh, yeah. It's uh, it was difficult at first. Uh, I cannot do it alone at first. Uh, uh, although I have uh, the documents, but uh, it's not the same when you are actually in front of the server. You are configuring, and everything is very, uh, you know, risky, and you, you might do a wrong thing, and it will uh, it will result that. Uh, uh, your system can no longer communicate with the other systems. Uh, so, so 
this one break down large tasks to smaller ones. So uh, the advantage of this is your 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 teammates will not be overwhelmed. Whoever was assigned with the task will not be overwhelmed, and uh, and it's much better that if the team member also uh, will. Uh, Honestly, say, sir, uh, I think uh, according to my skills and my confidence, I cannot finish this, sir. So, uh, can we uh, break up the, the this task and um, assign someone uh, to help me? So, this is uh, one of the uh, one uh, best practice. So, next uh, one is manage scope creep. Actually, uh, this. Uh, Scope script, uh, scope script is uh, uh, has been uh, challenged for most uh, uh, for most uh, projects. So I'll define this. Uh, you know the scope. When you start a pro project, you have a, a list of scope. Uh, uh, you have a set of requirements, a set of uh, uh, features that you need to uh, set of requirements you need to meet, and you have you depend you have a, uh, a budget you bigyan lang kayo ng 2 million dapat matapos niyo in 2 years so in a project you already know that uh, the, the 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 budget is limited the time is limited and when there are changes to the scope ay nako i i'm not sure because it depends on on the changes on the scope there are major ones and there are minor ones so where where does this scope creep uh, come from uh, usually when we start the project uh, in deep uh, deeper clear yung, yung what your system does so uh, the, the perception of, of your users uh, okay this system should be able to amuni to amuni add and impression and upon upon your the design is done and uh, after the design is done, uh, you started to implement it. And oops, hindi to yata yung pina inask ko. But he, he, uh, the, the user, the one that you got the requirements, is uh, skeptic. I, I think this is not what I meant. Uh, but that is natural. Uh, when we start a project, uh, always there's always a gap between what the requirements are, uh, the requirements that the user actually wants and what we perceive as the developer. So as we go along, it becomes closer. And if you as a, a developer or a project developer, you already know that, ah, okay, the, actually this, the user will, is probably thinking and uh, coupled with uh, you have uh, uh, good people skills, uh, sir, oh, can we, uh, actually I want to clarify. So what do you really want? So from the start, you will be able to uh, manage the scope uh, uh, from the start you will be able to pinpoint what the, the user actually wants so there are two uh, actually two uh, two strategies uh, in project management that is uh, always being implemented when it regards to scope creep number one you have to stop it at all costs because it will mess up everything. Uh, mess up your budget, mess up your your task, and mess up your uh, your defined plan. You already have a plan, and it will mess up everything. Uh, especially if it's a major uh, major uh, feature. Uh, if you want to see uh, if the 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 client has much money and doesn't have problems with time okay uh, you can bring up to him okay we, we can we can we can add or uh, implement it so that one that one uh, you try to stop uh, the scope creep or new requirements and number two number two actually is uh, we embrace the change <laughs> Uh, we need to compromise with the set of uh, we we embrace change. Uh, the point is uh, now the user knows what he wants, and probably uh, that's what will be. Uh, that's uh, not probably. It's definitely what he will be using when it is implemented. So uh, you 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 only have to. Uh, uh, embrace change so it depends it will you will need uh, to negotiate with the client uh, okay sir if this is a big uh, 
big requirement. This is a big feature. I think if you want the system to be on time, to be deployed on time, so you can use it, we have to sacrifice some money. If the, the client doesn't want to add more budget and he doesn't want the uh, delays, so we have to sacrifice so we can move this. Or you can say, sir, uh, if you want, sir, uh, we, we can wait. If this uh, feature is not actually the, the need, uh, it's not the uh, priority. We can just uh, in future updates we can later on uh, add this. So we go. So it goes back to the previous uh, best practice uh, with regards to the objectives as well as the purpose of your uh, purpose of your project. So manage a uh, scope creep. So next is. Uh, update and get uh, feedback uh, regularly. Uh, what I mean is when you update, uh, you update uh, uh, the client, you update the client, and uh, actually we, we're still alive. <laughs> the project's still there. So uh, how is it uh, going on uh, with, uh, I don't know, if it's in the, uh, uh, in, if it's in the requirements gathering phase, uh, is my team very intrusive in uh, during your operations, or uh, you you will try to uh, try to get uh, uh, feedback from them? So, uh, as you have known, that uh, collaboration tools are are actually becoming more complex, and uh, if you have uh, more teams uh, involved in a project, it becomes more complex. So, uh, eh, so the tools you uh, you need the tools, but actually the tool there is you just need to email. <laughs> the simple as that, uh, sir. Uh, currently, uh, the project is this. Uh, we are currently doing it. We'd like to ask from your end uh, how is it working for you with the team and where you are are you satisfied uh, especially during uh, implementation and you ask uh, it's better that you get uh, feedback uh, regularly because from there you will be able to masasagap mo yung issues as early as possible if there's an issue with the uh, uh, issues with the system issues with the tao ay ayoko yan uh, yung 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 engineer niyo diyan hindi ko vibes <laughs> yung itsura niya ayaw ko hindi ko type so, so uh, hindi, it's possible uh, it's possible uh, we don't know what happened uh, between that but i but with this you are able to know the issues as uh, early as possible so uh, update and uh, get feedback uh, regularly so next is uh, prioritize client relationship actually uh, you always need uh, the support of your client maguba lang yun masira lang yung relationship mo i do not know uh, how uh, you can go to the the, the project uh, site and uh, look at the uh, your relationship uh, actually i have uh, i uh, it's uh, i have experience the the worst relationship between uh, client relationship and one of our partners uh, i'm just thankful that it's not uh, our team but the other team so what happened uh, was uh, at the start of the project uh, the other team was uh, providing the hospital information system uh, the one of the key stakeholders there or key users is a department head uh, once so many things. Uh, you, there's a personality there that the, uh, uh, she wants uh, to. I don't know yung you. She wants to squeeze out all the features that are available that can be squeezed despite the payment that they paid is not that high. So, yung parang gusto niya lahat pwede palang libre na. So. Uh, that it took uh, the, the the partner actually the, 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 uh, let's just name her Jay actually that's her name. <laughs> so Jay uh, 
uh, came back every day uh, even though you know it's just to to just to train the users how to use the uh, MIS at the point na, um, the point niya um, eh, hindi na balance yung life niya at and uh, that time she was uh, preg pregnant and uh, I don't know, but the, the, I know that they were having a deadlines, and the the, the key user there, the department head, wanted uh, that, that this be on time because they have also a schedule on their end. So, na push yung ano yung partner and her team, and she was overwhelmed. Yung bata, she had a miscarriage, uh, as in she blamed the key user. Uh, Every time they meet us in uh, very ano get very very uh, toxic get and uh, a year after that that's where when we met uh, we find out that that what happened uh, no that's why uh, the, that project there uh, was delayed because of what happened so uh, so after that uh, actually the, the the time we met was another project. And we came back to that uh, previous project. Actually, she doesn't want to talk to her. Uh, uh, the, cli the, the client, actually, when we talk to the client, uh, very angry na ang babae. Actually, the, the department head wants everything. It, something happened to their server. And she wants it nga uh libre lang yung ano yung cost it's uh, there, uh, there was a problem with their servers actually we, we detected it as mom sir your your server is having some virus uh we 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 told them uh, as tas uh sa huli na give out yung server it took them uh two years because also uh, what happened to the with the pandemic na delay lahat and uh, after the last year she was expecting uh, you know fix the servers for free because you, know, you just need to format it but uh, from our side uh, we were having difficulties because uh, uh, it's not just simple as installing and configuring actually uh, my colleague in Germany told me oh actually that's 1000 euro per server so if there's two servers there's 2000 but you can if you you want you have to half it but the sales guy uh, is uh, is having a, a problem too because the client wants it for free and uh, and uh, and right now and that time eh, <laughs> the 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 j and the department head are also having you know although they're in the same meeting <laughs> It's very toxic. Uh, they're shouting in chat, naka all caps, and masira talaga. And when we uh, without the, the without the, the without the uh, J the partner, when we talk to her, uh, as in mahirap na kumuha ng uh, what do you want requirements? Uh, anong uh, gagawin natin sa database nyo? How do you want to recover? What time? Uh, is it okay if you cannot? Uh, ilang weeks ng recovery ganito uh, downtime for this one uh, it's not as uh, as not as uh, good as before but you know there there's uh, this thing that's called the uh, dapat maintain your good relationship with your client uh, not only that because the support also comes from them uh, what if B is don sa 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 project sponsor sir uh, I don't want to <laughs> implement let's cancel <laughs> and then you're you're going to be in an, another trouble so so okay uh, best practice number eight that's uh, prioritize uh, client relationship uh, make your client feel that she's uh, taken care of so alam yan ang mga sales uh, you have to make the client feel good and feel uh, you know important. So next, actually, uh, uh, this is for your team. Uh, create processes to identify and resolve issues quickly. Uh, actually, in, uh, sync sila with the uh, previous uh, best practices. Uh, 
what we do is uh, uh, what happens is when when the client or when the key users report uh, uh, issues we have encountered with the system, uh, they will email it. Uh, it's best to do it in uh, by email, and, uh, and we have like uh, one to two hours. Uh, uh, we have to do a response, sir. We are currently investigating your issue. Uh, we will get back to you once we have uh, uh, blah 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 blah. My, my, my scripting, yeah. Actually, we were we were influenced because our, our previous uh, team leader was uh, coming from sales and. She believe in emails, email scripting. So uh, we have that like templates. So uh, if there's going to be an update, uh, the, this template is going to be used. If there's going to be a database upgrade, this template is going to be used. If there's going to be uh, an issue, you need to respond. You don't need to say the uh, the steps. You don't have to know uh, how to resolve if you don't know. But if you don't know, you just need to uh, fill up this uh, email script and make sure that the, uh, the, the client or the user will receive the response in one to two hours of, since the email uh, receive it. So after that, uh, we will try to uh, uh, recreate the issue. Uh, if not, uh, we will ask our colleagues uh, in, in, in Germany or in China or in, in Africa if you have encountered this type, kind of uh, issues. And if not, uh, uh, next day, uh, I will just be saying another script. Uh, Sir, unfortunately, uh, we were not able so, but we have already created a ticket and sent it to our development team. Uh, they will uh, uh, they will be handling this issue or the database team, they will be handling this issue and we will update you uh, when, uh, when those team has uh, also uh, uh, notified us if there are any progress. So scripting, so just create, uh, a process uh, to identify. I also uh, encourage uh, uh, the the user to 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 email uh, because uh, we have a, a, a problem uh, before that uh, you know WhatsApp. Uh, we use WhatsApp for uh, during uh, during the development phase. The WhatsApp between the key users, the, the team, so that we be able to get the uh, get the issues uh, anything and we, we we will be able to contact them uh, after that so what af what happens if uh the project has uh, been finished it's uh go live you will turn it to support so this uh this group should not be uh, uh, uh should not this group should be destroyed and another group for the uh support and the uh, uh, users so should be created like WhatsApp. The problem sa WhatsApp, uh, any anytime, anytime they will, sir, we are having a problem. It's, it's, even as minor, I know you're already asleep. Uh, it's in weekends. Uh, yan yung problema sa WhatsApp. But the the advantage is you can communicate fast and. Uh, uh, I recommend that you. Uh, I recommend that you tell your 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 user after they reported it in WhatsApp, sir. Can you uh, uh, email this uh, officially so we can uh, include this in your ticket? Because uh, I had experienced this problem. It's because uh, one of our clients in Cebu, uh, <laughs> a hospital. Uh, we were we were close. Uh, I am close with the IT there. Uh, he Skyped me, uh, sir, uh, we were trying to implement the digital signature on our reports, but uh, currently their, 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 their system is already in, in production, so mahirap uh, i-edit. So I said, yes, okay, I, I will teach you how, but I will make a draft. So what I did, uh, I tried to edit the report, but that report there, I, I, I opened it, I created a, a temporary one, and I was uh, editing the, the, the temporary, the, uh, the temporary, not the production one. Here, uh, nagkataon, yeah, 
one of the doctors or two of the doctors were creating reports, nag-blank yung kanilang template. Oh, what happened? Oh? <laughs> what happened? So, uh, the, the IT himself blamed me. Actually, Roldan was uh, doing something with the report. <laughs> and uh, it went, uh, the, the issue went uh, to my boss. Uh, it went to the sales. And uh, I have nothing to, to uh, just show them all the, uh, the, what's, the Skype uh, chat oh, is there. He told me to, he wants this and uh, something happened. It's not me. Kataon lang. So it's better that uh, you keep it official, uh, use email uh, to report the issues. Uh, so uh, best practice, number 10, uh, yeah, document work changes, decision, and progress. Actually, you already have uh, in our previous uh, uh, previous uh, best practices, you need to update, you need to get feedback, you need to create and uh, create process to resolve. It's here. Uh, you need to document it. And when I say document, uh, you don't need to uh, file a separate uh, report, PDF, and put it in. Uh, we make it uh, as simple and as uh, fast as possible. Uh, actually, we consider emails as uh, official. Now. So every time when we have uh, changes, like uh, we have uh, new features that we, we, we need to implement, uh, uh, issues that we need to fix and, uh, and, and other stuff, we have to document them. That, that's why I, I, I place it separately here. So you need, to maintain uh, uh, like a details, parang may 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 anong hawid ganon. What's uh, you have some reference uh, to get back to uh, regarding that. Uh, like, um, we, uh, I encountered uh, one of the PMs uh, in Germany. Uh, the, one of the PMs uh, was uh, uh, not uh, as. Uh, as meticulous as our <laughs> Asian PM. So uh, we have this CAA in our wiki site. We, we can see there all our customers and we can see uh, notes uh, if the customer uh, wants that before you log into the server, you need to contact him. Or if uh, there's also there uh, notes that uh, if you want uh, uh, if you want, uh, if you want to do something with uh, this uh, part of the se section, make sure you save it and make a copy. They put notes, but uh, this uh, one client in particular, uh, <laughs> uh, we changed uh, the. Actually, we, uh, there was uh, we changed the password. Uh, this was this happened because there was an ongoing audit. Uh, audit. Uh, Germany was implementing uh, their data privacy and they want the organizations to uh, follow also uh, make sure the patient uh, data is protected you need uh, you, your password needs to be very complex at least uh, one lowercase one uppercase a number and uh, and a special character so uh, when that uh, when that started that the campaign started uh, uh, okay, yes, uh, we will give this task to the Philippines because uh, uh, while everybody else is sleeping here in Germany, they can do those. So, so <laughs> change password. Uh, we have a, a guide uh, to how to uh, uh, create a password per, uh, per client. So it, it's very unique, it's very long, and you will not... Uh, <laughs> It's very difficult. You need to copy paste. So, uh, problem is one of the clients there uh, actually wanted that his password will not be changed. Both administrator, he wants uh, I, I want uh, access, and uh, the PM didn't uh, place the it didn't document that kind of uh, uh, situation. So, <laughs> by uh, the time that was two o'clock, uh, I got I got an email, uh, an angry email from the German project manager. What do you want to do? Don't you don't you know that uh, this uh, customer here doesn't want? Sir, sir, we, we didn't know. You <laughs> didn't put the note. Uh, so uh, 
you, you document your work. Uh, at least we have something to uh, uh, to 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 we have reference of what to do. And not only that, uh, uh, during a project, we uh, we also uh, after the the, the the project has been done. We, we regularly take a look uh, every time there's an issue. We check uh, what our, our implementation team or development team has done during the, the project phase, uh, implementation phase. And we'll check there if they have the special conditions, if they have, uh, uh, if they have uh, uh, special characters, if they are using in some format that they need and the explanation why they are using it we have the special there's a legal complication so uh, one of our uh, technical uh, technical guys in china uh, really he believe in uh, uh, <laughs> client relationship he was using skype uh, uh, skype to contact the, the the customers here in asia uh, the problem was uh, he wasn't able to document all those, uh, 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 put them into ticket. So every time when we look, he is not, not a technical guy anymore. He was moved to the uh, project management because the, the our German boss was, uh, was uh, having a problem because of that. Uh, he was not documenting everything. He was uh, communicating. Uh, it's okay to communicate uh, via uh, Skype, but uh, the customer or didn't uh, send an official email what they did. We were not able to make a ticket. And every time there's an issue, uh, because we have no reference to what were the changes we have to investigate we have to analyze we have to start from the config what happened leading to this issue and it took us time it will not take one hour it will almost take days uh, that's uh, the problem if you don't document the work the problem is uh, your support or your maintenance guys will, will take time before they can implement the solution so guys Best practice number 10, document your work changes. If you have a CRM, uh, put it there. If you don't have a CRM, just leave it on the email as long as you can, uh, you can um, as, as long as you can uh, search for it in the email very fast, it's okay. And also you can use uh, Excel to document those uh, and put it in a sharing folder so that everybody else can, uh, uh, can view it. Make sure to view it. Uh, don't delete it <laughs> so that, that everybody will know and we'll have uh, the same page every time they will uh, try to uh, help out in issues so uh, it's also uh, helpful uh, that you have a lot of teammates because uh, during support uh, one of one of the guys will also say I, I I'm the one who implemented that change I, I'll tell you why we, we did it like that and what, why I did it like that. So from there, you will know at least if you have the, your, if that guy is beside you or, but if not, if he has already left, uh, it's really hard. So document your work changes, decisions and progress. So next, consider the project environment and context. So actually, uh, uh, when I say uh, project environment, uh, I'm, I'm just saying that every project, uh, every org, every industry is different. So uh, we should recognize that uh, projects and project management, planning, development are not uh, one size fits all. So what I mean is when I have this uh, new project, we started with the clinics, uh, the clinics, when we start another project for another clinic, it's not going to be the same uh, usable. Some of the the, the tasks and the, the plans, but it's uh, they have a different uh, different culture. They have a different uh, mindset. They have a different uh, be, there, there's something that that's make that makes every project unique. So uh, uh, when you are starting a project, you always, uh, always uh, take in consideration uh, uh, the people there, 
uh, what they are used to, the language, actually the language variant. Actually, I had um, um, I had issues with the <laughs> Indian uh, project. Uh, I was the one uh, assigned to it. And uh, it took me several months to know that there's a problem. Uh, I was uh, speaking English. I was training them. Uh, first training, user training, admin training. Uh, I think they were very perceptive, but problem is they don't ask questions. Only the doctors. Uh, uh, the doctors will ask me, but for the technicians, the, the ones that hold, uh, the, the, the operate the radiology uh, uh, devices, the ultrasound, the x-ray, they're not uh, talking to me. Mm, what happened? So later I found out from one of our Indian uh, partner, uh, Sir Holder, uh, actually the technicians don't know how to speak English only the doctors because uh, when the, in their the university, the English uh, is very, uh, is implemented not unlike in. <laughs> so uh, actually it's a government, uh, government hospital. So actually you will not, uh, you will not uh, encounter this problem if you, this is a private uh, hospital because all of them knows how to speak English. <laughs> uh, next month, uh, we did a refresher training I had the local partner, he wasn't paid. Uh, I just pulled him and you need to be here or during my training, you have to translate. So every time I start, okay, five minutes uh, talking, I will stop and they will talk. And I'm surprised that the Indians, they're, they're talking. I cannot understand. I think I'm getting headaches. So just so I think it's very noisy, but. I just, uh, I just, uh, I, I can only uh, hear my chica chica like that, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. and after that, uh, there, uh, it was a language problem, and uh, the doctors, I don't, I didn't have a problem with the doctors because the doctors there, okay, when I started the uh, admin training, they were all receptive now. Uh, how about we do this like this? Uh, they were all speaking, you know, but we also had, did some problems because uh, one of the uh, one of the the the, he, the the department heads there uh, uh, asked me if there's a possibility that they can add their own uh, dictionary. I was wondering, what? You already have a US English uh, dictionary. Why do you want uh, your own dictionary? And uh, it uh, uh, and it took us like uh, two to three weeks. I have to ask uh, Germany, the development team, is it possible to add uh, uh, a specialized dictionary for this doctor? Because it's the first time that this doctor asked. Uh, so at least the, 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 the development team, no, that we don't have that. We only have uh, German, English. Uh, we have some uh, English in South Africa and all that stuff. But uh, we don't have we don't have any consideration for adding new doc, uh, new dictionary. So if you want to add uh, new words, you have to do it manually. <laughs> so uh, uh, I, I thought uh, that was the end of it. Uh, we, we have to wait for a feature that will add. So here comes uh, the sales. Uh, the sales guy is a German, but he, know, he knows English uh, uh, very well. Uh, he went to India, uh, you know, update regularly, get feedback. He went to the hospital and there uh, he found out what he meant by uh, medical dictionary that he wants to add. Actually, he just wants the UK version. Uh, <laughs> it, so there's a, it is a barrier. Uh, if he wants a UK version, I can just uh, enable it. And if, if he told me earlier, uh, it, it, it should not have a wasted um, uh, uh, um, two to three weeks of our uh, investigation and communication with the development team. So after that, uh, yes, uh, everything was good again and <laughs> the UK version. So next, uh, I will uh, another uh, environment. Uh, I had, uh, uh, we had a project in uh, Lebanon. Uh, it's a small hospital, but uh, the problem is uh, in Lebanon, uh, 
everything is uh, you know like in the US everything can be uh, you know makasuhan uh, for example uh, uh, you have a wrong name uh, you, you created the report with the wrong name it's possible that the client will <laughs> will uh, make sure just because a, a wrong name uh, wrong wrong uh, diagnosis uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, it made us seem uh, uh, everything that we do in our uh, do in our in their system the config there has a legal uh, legal you know, there's going to be a legal if we do it uh, wrongfully and he was trying he was trying uh, he was trying actually the problem was it's not our problem the problem was their patient records he was trying to help the patient records uh, correct the mistakes from uh, from uh, from you know wrongfully wrong name and he wants us also to to follow suit so but uh, we uh, we told him actually sir uh, when you created the report and signed and released it uh, it's an official document uh, we don't need to re re change the name and re sign and he wants that you know medyo may daya na correct it and uh, put the date back to the, when it was actually signed but the the correction is there it's it's uh, like uh, my complications uh, like that uh, uh, in our system we uh, we allow corrections but we put the date uh, when it was corrected we cannot uh, backtrack the date just to make it look like that it was corrected and the, it was correct in the first place uh, that's <laughs> So um, from there, uh, we we knew that uh, uh, in, uh, in in a Lebanon uh, Lebanon uh, uh, project that uh, those issues. This is the first time we had those issues actually in uh, in the Philippines, uh, in Singapore, in Malaysia. We don't have that one. So uh, let me uh, give you another example. Uh, uh, in our in our Malaysia project, uh, it's customary there that uh, uh, the patient will go to the doctor, and the doctor, okay, let's uh, make you uh, le uh, let's give uh, let's uh, do some test on you. So the radiology, so we you go to the to the radiology center, like a, there's a, a clinic or an hospital, and uh, it, it's possible there that they will just uh, uh, do appointments. Uh, Okay, let's make appointments, uh, and it's not sure that they will come back for that. Uh, so usually, uh, in the Philippine settings, we only do that for ultrasound. Uh, uh, you pay for the ultrasound. Uh, you make sure that the next day, di ka nakainom ng tubig because it will, uh, you know, uh, uh, it will affect the the the, the image. So uh, that's uh, at least one day, but. Uh, uh, what happened is in their culture, um, it's customary for them to get an appointment and be on the specific date, and it's not very sure that they will come back. So what happens is uh, six to five, uh, six to seven years later, all their data uh, very, very long. It affected their system, and most of them were were orders from patients who didn't come back so we had to uh, decide uh, sir we 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 can we uh, we can opt uh, to delete the, the 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 records from two years before and uh, your problems will be solved but uh, we cannot do anything with your practice because that's how how you do it in your uh, in in your in your in your organization so that's how uh, that's how um, so powerful uh, the, the culture uh, the culture is uh, culture and the environment where they end be it in the government be it in the city be it in the urban there's always a difference uh, uh, with a, a project so uh, last uh, best practice is uh, <laughs> if everything fails uh, be ready to end the project so uh, uh, if you do the by previous uh, best practice, you will not get to this. But in case uh, uh, the situation here is uh, 
you had a project, you started, but somewhere along the lines, uh, the, the, the organization changed so much, your project is not uh, needed anymore. Uh, it does not fit. Uh, so, <laughs> bakit pagpipili ito pa dyan yung sarili mo, uh, hindi naman gagamitin uh, like that. So, uh, we, uh, uh, it's like a scope creep, but uh, the problem is, uh, even if you finish uh, this project, uh, you are not sure that your, your, your users will be using it because uh, they have a different need now. So as a, a project manager, you have to, <gasps> yes, I think uh, we failed. It's, not, it's, it's okay, you have to, to, to go back to the contract uh, and check who the one is responsible for. Uh, there's uh, some, I know, there's some, uh, uh, there's going to be, I don't know, if you you have a good relationship with the, the client in the first place, you don't need to go to litigation and cases. But uh, if, if there's uh, money involved and it's in millions, I'm not sure if there's uh, going to be a, uh, uh, so it's best that you already have if, if it's in your side that did not delay or fail the project it's be best that you already have those documents in Caso uh, uh, kailangan nila I for investigation so that's it um, that's uh, the last uh, best practice uh, in terms of project management but uh, as well as you know uh, best practice uh, says it's not just a list. Uh, it's an ongoing process. So, so what I've said now may not be applicable to your uh, situation, uh, may not be applicable uh, 10 years later. And uh, I place it here because uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, content from, uh, from Google that uh, will tell you this is a best practice, this is best practice. But actually, there, those, there are some uh, practices that are no longer applicable or not effective. So I will uh, briefly show them, I'll show you uh, the list. So these are the previous uh, best practices that are now starting to become uh, obsolete. Number one, is uh, frequent in-person meetings. You know, every day. Uh, actually, in uh, agile, uh, agile uh, uh, project management, they only they have uh, like a five to ten minutes uh, stand up. But that's it. Uh, five to ten minutes. You don't have to uh, one hour. Paulit ulit na lang yung uh, yung issues yung ano nangyari last week yung hindi pa na resolve and. Uh, uh, even in our company, uh, we don't do this anymore. We only have at least two uh, at uh, meetings, uh, like uh, uh, one weekly or bi-weekly meeting with a customer and uh, another one for the, like the in-sync, uh, sync uh, with, uh, with the team members. Uh, during Mondays, uh, or Mondays or Tuesdays, uh, we, we, we meet and we, we, uh, we, uh, we, we present to our, our, our team that uh, we are occurring, following this task, what are the issues that we are trying to solve. And for the rest of the week, uh, what are will I be doing and what the problems that I'm encountering, if I need help, uh, I will say it uh, first day, second day, at least the team leader or your project leader will know, okay, Roldan, uh, uh, I, I think I, I I know what your problem is. I, I let me do some uh, uh, do something for you. Uh, if it's good, uh, we can, you will have an assistant. Uh, uh, I'll ask for, for someone in Germany to help you like that. And it doesn't need to be every day. So uh, as in uh, we had uh, also in India, uh, the the customer told us, oh, sir. Uh, can, can these meetings be <laughs> weekly or bi-weekly? I think we don't need to do this uh, uh, twice a week. So our, our client itself, themselves, I'm sorry, okay. It's okay for us that, that every week we know the progress of the project, but we don't have to do it uh, twice or three times uh, a week because it's also interrupting their operations. So next is uh, 
create detailed scope and objectives and time. Actually, I remember this uh, when I started in uh, after graduating. Uh, we have uh, this uh, PDP. Uh, we have this document. We have to put it, uh, all uh, the plans that we want, uh, the risk, uh, also the uh, also the uh, how do we meet uh, the work breakdown structure. It's a document, and uh, by the time that we finish detailing uh, our scope and objectives, uh, it will take us months later and <laughs> I don't think it's not applicable anymore to the situation of the client. So uh, what we do is uh, as simple as a work breakdown structure uh, or a list of deliverables. Uh, we send this to the, uh, okay, a, these are our uh, current plan. Uh, who will do it? How long will it take? Uh, can you check uh, on the? You will ask the, the client side if it, this is amenable to you. Uh, if you have issues, uh, you just tell. Uh, we can amend the uh, amend the project plan uh, as we go. Uh, so we don't know what will happen in the future, but at least we have a, a starting plan wherein we can uh, we can go. So right now uh, we don't. Uh, I don't know if it's in the government. I'm not sure with the, the government saying that they had to uh, uh, create detailed scope. But in our in my uh, in my experience uh, with uh, private and uh, international, uh, we we no longer hold to those uh, uh, big documents. We only have that. Uh, uh, we only have the acceptance criteria, the the charter, uh, the design, the the. Uh, the acceptance, uh, the last part uh, that the, the, the project has finished, and, and that simple, uh, that uh, that little documents. But those are uh, already um, uh, important and uh, basic. Uh, you just get the customer's uh, uh, client's uh, signature. So next is the create risk response team. Uh, I remember this one. Uh, we have to mitigate the risk. Uh, we prepare a separate team. They will be in charge of uh, whatever risk that comes in our way. They will mitigate it uh, already done. So this one actually is not uh, effective anymore. Uh, if there are risk, uh, we assign it to the uh, to the owner. Like uh, for example, uh, the risk is related to the development team. They will take ownership uh, of that team, and we already. Uh, Told them uh, how to uh, how to mitigate it, but uh, you don't need to create a separate team just to uh, mitigate the risk. Uh, they, your team, should be responsible, and they should uh, know how to do. Uh, if they don't have, uh, if they, they don't know. They they can seek advice from you, or you can help them. So that's uh, next. So the change control process actually related again to the scope creep. Uh, I remember before, uh, every time there's a, a new uh, request from the client, we have to assess it. Is it important, significant, urgent? Uh, we have this document. Uh, I, 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 it's um, the change control form. Uh, I, I remember uh, we used to have that uh, change control form. We pass it around. Is it uh, okay for your team? You, you implement this. Uh, how many days it will take you? What will be the cost? Uh, and it will get passed around. And uh, we need, okay, sir, here's the change control uh, form. As project manager, you will be the one to up prove or reject this uh, uh, reject this uh, uh, reject these uh, changes so that's how complicated and uh, detailed were our change control process but right now in, in the current setting we only need to uh, uh, talk with the client talk with the user uh, uh, you really need this uh, what will be there it's uh, it's just a meeting we just call for a meeting we discuss it there and whatever the decision, we, uh, we email it uh, to everybody and okay, uh, we will be implementing this uh, uh, new new request. Uh, we will uh, not prioritize uh, some of the requests in order to cater this. And that's it. Everybody knows that's how simple it is now. So the next one was uh, 
as you can see, the traditional project management, uh, they tried to stop the changes, you know, scope creep. But, and every time there's a change because it's really needed, we have to sign another agreement because it will mess up. Yeah, you will mess up the, uh, the, the, the budget, the, the time, and especially the people. So uh, right now we don't do this uh, anymore. As I, I've said before, if we accept it, uh, we deem uh, the, the emails as uh, official, uh, especially coming from the the the, the client. So uh, we we just detail it there uh, 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 to everybody. Uh, uh, our, we have met with the client and we have agreed that, that blah 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 blah. The following will be implemented and this blah 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 blah. And we send it to everybody. That's uh, already an official document for us. We don't need to sign a new agreement. And lastly, is the final wrap-up meetings or post-mortem. Uh, uh, <laughs> I remember the, we have the lessons learned after the, the project, uh, project closure. What have you learned? What were the issues you encountered? Uh, we don't do this anymore because as I've said before, uh, update regularly and uh, get feedback. So from the start, you're already able to detect the issues and uh, mitigate the risks that are trying to come up. And the last thing that uh, you want to have is, you know, the project already ended and oh, there's an issue. Uh, we have issues with the, uh, the client, our communications and all that stuff. And you only discuss it uh, after the project was uh, ended and, you know, regrets. Uh, if we have known this, uh, we have known this issue, actually we could have done better. And, you know, so that's one of the uh, practices that uh, are, are becoming obsolete. You can you can hold your own uh, uh, post mortem, uh, but the post mortem is like a uh, success. Yes, it's done. Kaina na, you know. So it depends uh, how uh, uh, how is it uh, on your or you, how you will uh, uh, implement it on your organization. But uh, as I said before, uh, updating regularly with the client getting the feedback, you will not have a need to have the, this post-mortem meeting because from there, you already know the issues, you catch it before it started, and that's it. So um, next, uh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm almost 10 minutes. Ah, okay, <laughs> so uh, before I end, uh, before I end, uh, yeah, uh, I'd like to show this, uh, 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 image to you. So guys, uh, please describe uh, what do you see. So actually, uh, this is uh, Jenga blocks. So we, we've been for the past one hour and 20 minutes, I've been discussing with you uh, external factors uh, to make uh, projects uh, more successful. Now, uh, bef uh, I would like to, uh, before I would end, I would like to share uh, three internal factors that I believe, personal belief based on my experience uh, that uh, needs to be, you know, needs to be there so that you you will be or your other me members will be good and will contribute to your project. So as you can see, this is Jenga. Uh, this is a game uh, wherein you can, uh, you stack three by threes and, uh, and uh, we, you take turns uh, trying to put it up and get from the existing blocks from down below, trying not to let the Jenga tower uh, collapse. So, uh, okay. So my first uh, inter first uh, advice to you, uh, knowledge is good. Uh, you get knowledge from all your, uh, from our education, but always seek for wisdom. So uh, uh, most of us uh, uh, in our life, uh, we have, uh, we've been, uh, been uh, playing with uh, our projects like Jenga, uh, not only in our projects, but also in our uh, circumstances. But uh, uh, 
we we when we play Jenga, you observe others. Oh, this guy has a technique. He, he has. A, uh, I think he's doing good uh, with uh, his technique. Is like that, and <laughs> and you try to copy it. Uh, you can <laughs> you can certainly apply uh, what you learn from other people uh, like me and what you've learned here. But uh, uh, you always uh, seek for wisdom. So. One of the uh, one of the uh, uh, personalities, uh, Isaac Asimov, uh, uh, said or quoted: "The saddest aspect of life right now is that science uh, gathers knowledge faster than society uh, uh, gathers wisdom." Uh, I can relate to this, uh, especially during the campaign period with our presidents everybody uh, you have uh, the red side you have the pink side you have this facts facts and uh, the the people there are not as uh, loving anymore you, you they were your friends but the way they present it to you it's not <laughs> There's something else. There's something wrong. Uh, I, although you're both on the same side or the other side, but bucket. <laughs> so uh, it's very sad. It's very sad. Uh, knowledge. There's just, you have facts, but there's no more wisdom. And just just keep posting. Uh, okay. Just uh, uh, let me cement this point by sharing to you uh, uh, wisdom. I, I'll I'll show you a video. Uh, let me share. There's a lot we can learn about teamwork from a rather surprising source. When geese migrate, they form a V-shape. Whilst it looks pretty, it also has some important functions in terms of working as a group. When flying in a V formation, each member of the team creates an uplift for the team member behind. This team effort makes the flight of the whole group more efficient. If a goose breaks free from the V shape, it will immediately have to make more effort to keep up. So working in a team towards the same destination means less effort needs to be made as an individual. And the same goose doesn't always lead the V shape. Leadership rotates, so that the burden of flying in front is shared. Again, this makes the whole flock more efficient. The geese flying behind encourage the front geese to keep up their speed by honking. This communication affects the whole team, and their positive feedback makes the whole team more successful. Lastly, if a goose gets sick and falls out of formation, two others will stay with it until it is well enough to join another flock. The team cares for one another, as a loss to the flock is a loss for all of them. So, to recap, working as a team is more efficient than working alone. Leadership can be shared for greater efficiency and to spread the burden. Communication with the whole team is important. Giving encouraging feedback promotes success and having empathy for team members is always better than taking a selfish approach. So I hope uh, uh, you learn something from geese, uh, <laughs> but it's not only geese. Uh, you can also learn from other people and we have the Bible. I hope uh, you get more wisdom. Uh, even in the Bible says, uh, 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 in the Bible says, uh, uh, pursue wisdom at all costs. Uh, Back then, when I was uh, starting out, uh, you have uh, I graduated and uh, I was really confident that you throw any project <laughs> to me, I will be able because uh, we were trained. Uh, we have this uh, uh, 
cases we, we were trained to handle what will happen like this we also had that the best practices even the the obsolete ones but it's different uh, when you go when you have people uh, there's uh, it's different uh, you're encountering people <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, I have many trials. I, I can uh, apply the best practices on my trials, but uh, I cannot do it without my family, without my my faith. <laughs> uh, okay. So Socrates also said that true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. So if you are full, you cannot be teach anymore. There's pride. And mahirap yung you teach. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> That's why it's the number one um, internal factor that I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to give to you. Uh, seek wisdom at all costs. Number two, work-life balance should not uh, should never be just an option. Uh, you work, you work in an organization, but uh, if it's ruining your life, even if your project is successful, it's not uh, as a whole. It's still you're still failed, and. Uh, and uh, one of uh, one of the PM uh, uh, PM personalities, Zig Ziglar, says, uh, "You can't be uh, truly be considered successful in your business life if your home life is in shambles." So, another one, uh, Andrew Wilkinson, you don't have to make yourself miserable to be successful. Success isn't just about working hard; it's about working smart. So uh, Heather Shack, another one, she quoted, uh, you will never feel truly satisfied by work until you are satisfied with life. So I had many experience, you know, especially when I was single, project, and it didn't work out. Na hospital ako. I was so stressed. Uh, I was diagnosed. Uh, you had uh, fatty liver uh, and ending. Actually, it's good that I went to the hospital. They were able to find out. I, I also have a, a gallstones. Uh, it took me two years. Uh, they changed the uh, uh, outlook in life. And uh, oh, simply, uh, alternative medicine. Uh, thank you, doc. Uh, uh, we didn't uh, go to surgery. Uh, we only did uh, healthy living. And uh, after two years, uh, my one inch diameter gallstone was uh, gone. Uh, so I'm thankful for that. But right now I have a wife and three sons. Uh, it's, uh, it's really uh, difficult uh, at times at first uh, to balance. But later on, uh, when you know what your goal in life is, uh, work is, life is uh, there, but and work is just optional and you should need to prioritize. Uh, if it needs to be, uh, it needs to be in, in the day, uh, every week na lang, you have to compromise uh, just for the sake of work, but uh, you have to make time for your family. Uh, you have to make time. It's not just challenges, challenges. Oh, Challenges, okay, let him come. Ang ending, uh, parang na, na, na nalulunod ka na sa challenges. You don't have time to relax. You don't have to time to enjoy your the fruits of your salary and your. It's it's going to be uh, really toxic. So that's why uh, as my second uh, uh, second uh, uh, second uh, suggestion or uh, practice for your. Uh, life uh, for your success in life uh, is 
work-life balance should not be just an option. So last is be adaptable, but stay true to your core. As we all know, life, even project, is uh, you are leading change to the organization and you will encounter very difficult people uh, who doesn't want to go out of their comfort zone and okay you have to make way uh, okay so let's uh, I know let's uh, do it something else you have to uh, ad be adaptable uh, there's a situation uh, we can do this like this but as long as you stay true to your core you it does not uh, does not uh, compromise your beliefs yung pinapagawa sa yo bawal na to ayaw mo to is uh, as long so that's uh, the last uh, advice that i i'd like to give you is be adaptable uh, be uh, be open to changes uh, uh, be uh, embrace change but uh, you don't have to implement it just for the sake uh, you know you have those uh, beliefs and faith you don't have to uh, compromise them. So uh, the only thing that does not change and remains constant in this world is the word change. So, uh, so be willing to adopt new approaches and concepts, but not to the expense of compromising your ethics. So as a recap, uh, as a recap, the best practices, those are 12. Number one, hold, uh, holding off kickoff meetings, emphasizing the project's overall purpose. Three, creating a project charter as an identity, tracking and reporting progress. Number four, number five, uh, break down large tasks to smaller ones para di ma overwhelm yung, uh, yung members mo. Manage uh, scope creep. Uh, it's either you implement them or you, 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 you block them, but you have uh, to be as... Uh, uh, you have to you have to entertain it uh, even if it's your or client's uh, request uh, updating and getting back uh, regularly uh, the, the progress uh, just checking out kamusta uh, client uh, uh, the, the project team is still here uh, we're still there uh, update regularly prioritizing the client uh, relationship uh, creating processes to identify and resolve uh, issues quickly, uh, not just in the last part, but also from the start. Uh, documenting work changes, decisions, and progress. Uh, considering the project environment and context. And lastly is, uh, if it needs, be ready to end the project if, this, if it does not fit the organization or the, uh, the client's uh, requirements anymore. So that's the, the 12 uh, external factors and the, the three. Uh, that I just uh, advised to you, uh, seeking wisdom at all times, pursue work-life balance, and lastly, it's being adaptable but staying true to your core. Uh, thank you for, <laughs> that's it. Thank you for listening to me. You may do uh, the comments and click subscribe. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, Engineer Roldan, for that very meaningful talk to each and every one of us. May I request everyone from our attendees to give Ms. Engineer Roldan a virtual applause. Sir, thank you very much for the talk. and our results in the future. Well, at this moment, may I call on our technical arrangement chairperson, Ms. Taibal Ann A. Ramirez, CGSP, MBA, HTM, to lead us in our open forum. All right. So thank you so much, Dr. Jokana, for um, introducing me. So at this juncture, um, we would like to thank Engineer Roldan Paul Pascos for the very insightful talk, most especially in the very last part. I'm pretty sure even um, not only professionals, but even students who are with us this afternoon will relate to the life advices that Engineer Pascos has shared with us this afternoon. I'm sure everyone have learned so many things and all the best practices that Engineer Pescos have shared today will be very useful as we venture in the field of project planning and development. So at this point, it's now time for the open forum session with our guest speaker. Participants, you may now ask your questions. 
please make sure to click the raise hand button for you to be acknowledged. Once you are mentioned, kindly unmute your microphone and introduce yourself and from what institution or organization you are from. Other participants who are quite shy can also make use of the chat box to ask questions here in the Zoom meeting room. Okay, so we have our very first question from one of my classmates in the GSU DMBA 401 subject, Doki Santa Renea C. Tubalina. Doki Santa? Is Doki Santa around? Okay, so it seems that um, Doki Santa is unable to um, unmute her microphone. I will just read her question. So for Engineer Pascos, um, her question goes like this. As a specialist in your field of expertise, what are the best practices that you can recommend to us with uh, us here who are connected to the academe that we'll be able to adopt for our future project development? Again, as a specialist in your field of expertise, what are the best practices that you can recommend to us here who are connected in the academe that you may be able to adopt for our future project development? Okay. Uh, hello, okay. So academe, actually, uh, uh, I also came from <laughs> the academe. Uh, I work in uh, CPU and as MIS, uh, I was uh, taking part time <laughs> and before I before I, I, I do full time. So number one there uh, in the academe, uh, you just need uh, actually you just need uh, to remind everybody uh, every time when you start a project. Uh, especially uh, for academics like enrollment, grading, uh, I is a registrar. It's possible that the registrar needs an archiving. In academe, uh, you need to, uh, what do you call this? You need uh, to let the, the, the students, the, the, the employee and staff, the teachers that we, there's an ongoing project. Uh, you have to, to we, we are having a, uh, we're heading to change. That's why I've I've uh, listed uh, those. So for the academics, number one, that's one is um, uh, you can either uh, do the kickoff meeting, but emphasizing the project uh, overall strategic purpose. Why did you start this project? Because, uh, for example, in the academe, it's either you buy a custom software or you you uh, you hire. A developer to do your systems, you need to remind yourself. You need uh, to remind uh, what's the person why why we we opted for this project. For example, um, uh, our current system is very ineffective, inefficient. Uh, that's why we are pursuing. You have to do it and again and again. Uh, even if uh, there are project delays. Uh, uh, Oh, I was one of that uh, the team, uh, development team before I was in an in-house development team doing, uh, uh, doing the registrar, uh, the registrars, the enrollment system, as well as the, the uh, grading system we're in. The, we, we did it web-based. Uh, everybody, can, any teacher uh, can post their grades if, if they are going in holidays, wherever they are, on vacation. As long as they have internet, they can post their grades and we can print it. Uh, the, 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 so that one uh, is emphasizing the purpose and you have to make, you have to track if you are uh, uh, in a in a academe, I suggest uh, that you create a steering committee uh, that will be responsible for you know updating uh, updating the whole uh, university, uh, tracking the, the uh, making it easier for the development team to do their work. That's it. Okay, thank you so much, Engineer Pascos. So another question is from one of my classmates in the MBA 401. 
So along the way, we are bound to hit bumps Ay, pundo, in the road. Ini. Uy, mga pundo, ini. Excuse me. We would like to request all the participants to please mute your microphone po. Thank you. Okay, so let's continue. The second question po, Engineer Pescos, is from Michael M. Um, Bellarmino, one of my classmates from DMBA 401. So his question is, along the way, we are bound to hit bumps in the road, especially with given projects. How do you handle issues regarding scope, budget, and communication? Thank you, Engineer Pescos. Okay. Actually, uh, in the video, you already seen it. <laughs> uh, you are not alone. Uh, and when you fly like a geese, uh, the client is with you. As long as I have said before, you are in the same page, you have a good client relationship. Uh, you don't have to do it alone. Uh, you, have, you don't have to uh, handle it alone. Actually, the issues, uh, you know, scope, budget, and communication, uh, you can talk it out. Uh, with the team, uh, you ask the team uh, if uh, this will be implemented or this uh, will be, uh, I'm going to ask you how much uh, of your time it will uh, consume, how additional, and you go meet uh, with the sales, with the, with the, the client, sir, uh, this is the issue. Uh, I think we have some changes uh, with, the, uh, with the scope. If you have a budget, Actually, he will offer it. Uh, we don't have budget, uh, so uh, we talk it out with the uh, with the key user who submitted it. And if he really uh, uh, really needs it, or if we need to implement it, with regards to the communication, uh, the communication issues. Uh, if there are issues like. Uh, uh, Yung, may, yung, yung sample ko before na nag-aaway, I do not know how to resolve that one. Uh, it needs a uh, negotiation. Between, uh, but uh, for others, uh, communication, uh, for example, uh, uh, there are like issues with uh, how you communicate uh, the progress. You can, uh, you can ask the team, uh, what will work for you? Do you want to uh, do messenger so that we update uh, each other reg regularly? If you don't want to, uh, to tell other people that you are facing some issues uh, because it's somewhat personal, you can privately message me. And that's it. You can, uh, you can talk it out. And uh, remember, uh, you are not alone in the in the project. You have a team, uh, and if it's uh, with the problem with the client, you can involve them in your meetings. Everything mapag usapan na naman. So that's how that's how we handle it. Even in our uh, organization, we just uh, uh, we just uh, 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 create a meeting. Uh, we ask the, the those involved. Uh, can can you, you want to be a bit? Uh, uh, we will discuss uh, these uh, issues and we'll try to resolve it. It's just, that's easy. Uh, you don't need to lengthen everything and it will sahule pag sisisi. So, okay. Thank you so much, Engineer Pescos, for answering the question of Mr. Michael Bellarmi. So the next question will be coming from one of the GSE Graduate School students, Doki Meriche. Is Doki Meriche around? You may unmute your microphone. Yes. And... yes, yes. <laughs> uh, thank you, Doki Saibel. Uh, good afternoon, Engineer Piscos. We are actually so very grateful to you, Engineer Piscos, for you shared so very knowledge of yours with us. Uh, my question is for so many uh, challenges in your uh, field of expertise, uh, which, uh, what was the biggest challenge you faced in your IT management project and how did you overcome it? Uh, okay, in our IT. So usually uh, if it's a, a long project, usually, Scope creep is the one that the the one that we are always uh, facing. There, there's going to be a new request. Uh, uh, when we started the project, 
you already have like uh, we were given uh, two to three years uh, for the en enrollment uh, system to finish along with the uh, but along the way uh, there's going to be uh, sir mas kailangan namin to and and uh, and it comes in and you even your, your the steering committee okay let's <laughs> let's implement it and it becomes i know it becomes uh it becomes very uh, annoying if you don't uh, if you ignore it but at that time we were just starting uh starting with the project and starting with the, the uh, in the industry i didn't know uh negotiation how to do it like that if i've known uh i can just uh, have uh, told the 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 key user sir uh uh, we will would like to discuss it uh, with the project manager if he wants to uh, uh, implement this. But if not, in future uh, in future iterations, if the once uh, we just get this system to to work and be used by uh, by, by the, your company, uh, everything will change and it will be much easier. And after that, we will uh, take in your request as a new feature, and and we will uh, update you uh, when this uh, feature will be uh, implemented. Uh, that's it. Uh, scope creep is uh, really a big problem, especially if you are a big project and it's a long one. Thank you, engineer. All right, so let's proceed to our next question. We have from Doki J. Martin Biclar. Is Doki Jet Biclar around? You may unmute your microphone, po, Doki. Good afternoon, engineer. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my question is What are the opportunities for hospitality management students or graduates? who wants to focus on project planning and development in the hospitality industry. Hospitality? I did look at that, engineer. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, uh, I haven't uh, encountered projects with uh, hospitality. Uh, if you are talking about uh, uh, hotel uh, restaurant management, uh, uh, we did, uh, I did, uh, uh, reservation system actually Ma Minin knows that I made a small uh, small reservation system for their five rooms uh, I also did uh, for one of the rooms uh, one of the hotels here in uh, in Iloilo uh, uh, I was working together with the um, uh, actually uh, I was working together with the reception uh, not only it will uh, it will print out the reservation or when is the scheduled uh, also the inventory if this bed is clean uh, it is uh, integrated with the with the ano ang tawag sa uh, yung nagki-clean ng room uh, they will know uh, the housekeeping uh, so that's uh, actually that's how brief uh, my 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 encounter is with the uh, uh, hotels and uh, uh, and their system uh, but uh, other other I, I don't have other experiences with, <laughs> with I'm very sorry but that's it it's okay, engineer. Uh, okay engineer it's okay it's okay thank you so much okay all right so unfortunately we only have a very limited time for the open forum session with engineer pescos because we also have um, another speaker right after Engineer Pescos, which is Architect Pyril. So we'll be entertaining one final question, which is from our beautiful Lady of Ceremony, Ms. Johanna Grace Haviliana. Hi, sir. Thank you, Ms. Ivel. Um, sir, I have, personally, I have a question. Since uh, most of the attendees this afternoon is students, so what do you have any encouragement or motivations to the students to overcome challenges in project planning or maybe on their um, field of education or professions in the future? Nice. 
Actually, that's one <laughs> one of my regrets. Uh, uh, I've said it before. Uh, when you graduate, uh, it's best that you uh, get experience, not just actual experience. You ask other people. One of my regrets is in I did a OGT in uh, Flor Daniel, and two of my uh, clients there were project managers. Uh, uh, it was just uh, for me, I just was trying to finish my OGT, but uh, I didn't know how rich their experience was with construction. So if I have known, I I could have asked them during, uh, you know, uh, we, we we gather requirements. If I, I could have asked, uh, sir, what are your experiences? So what I I wouldn't have uh, to undergo some trials, <laughs> but uh, yeah, as uh, as students, uh, I I want you. I would recommend that you you be open and uh, inquisitive, and you all ask some uh, people who are already on uh, already experienced uh, with project management to ask them uh, their side, uh, their situation. It's uh, very I know very. Uh, it's very so much experience. You cannot have a, a same uh, project uh, that's the same to another one. Although it's they're the same two projects, uh, maybe the pro project manager could have done it differently. He has a se separate style, uh, how to make it uh, uh, successful, and that's it. You you gather experience. Uh, you gather uh, from other and, and you ask advice from the. Uh, especially to the planning, how to create your own uh, uh, work breakdown structure, how, what were the tasks relevant for this project. Uh, that's it. And be persistent. Uh, be persistent. Go love. <laughs> Thank you so much, Engineer. So, may pahabol tayo na question, Engineer, from SRA Queenie J. Malin BPE. I do hope I pronounce her name right. So, hi, Engineer. I would like to ask, with regard to medical devices, what are the things to consider in choosing a medical device? Example, their specs or brands. Yes. It's a very good question. Uh, actually... We do not. Uh, I'd like to advise you. Ang uh, after sales support, uh, it, it it it. Uh, there are some uh, brands, medical brands, that are more expensive. But uh, we uh, must uh, must na prefer. Ako lina ano mga hospitals ng ano is those that offer. Uh, a good after sales. Uh, if, for example, there's uh, some problem, you have to contact them. Actually, uh, there's, they're near. They're, they're there. But meron naman nag-offer ng uh, ng medyo cheaper. But yung problem is uh, eh, yung 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 engineer na sa support. You have to to call for them from Manila and uh, to come over here. It will be under your expense. So. Number one, uh, uh, number one, we look at uh, first is the not only the the specs, the reliability, but also uh, the after sales, uh, after sales uh, support. Uh, that's it. So. <laughs> Thank you so much, Don't Engineer Pesco. Uh -oh. And that is all for this afternoon session. First session. Thank you, participants, for being so active in the open forum session with Engineer Pescos. I hope your knowledge and insights have been expanded by this webinar. Thank you so much, Engineer, for sharing your precious time and expertise with our participants. The information you have imparted with us will surely help us improve in the field of project planning and development. At this point, I will now turn over to our Lady of Ceremony, Doki Johanna Grace Avellana for the continuation of the program. Thank you very much, Ms. Aida. Um, engineer, thank you very much for your uh, time being with us today. So this at this point of time, may I call on our promotion of publicity chairperson, Mr. Romel B. Abaldonado, MBAHM for awarding of a Certificate of Appreciation to Engineer Roldan.
through Mel. Good afternoon, everyone. Gima State University Graduate School. Gima State University Graduate School, Doctor of Management, Major in Business Administration. Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Engineer Roldan Paul Dispescos for the gift of time and expertise as a resource speaker during the DMBA 40, 401 Project Planning and Development webinar with the theme, Best Practices and Challenges in Project Planning and Development. Given this, 25th day of June 2022 via Zoom. Time, Roslyn G. Abuan, MBA. The night post chair person. Time, Gina B. Montes, EDB, PhD, BM, MBA, one professor. Annalyn A. Janaban, DMBA HRM, DMBA program head. Signed, Early M. Martyr. PhD Dean of Graduate School. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sir Romel. Thank you very much for your time. So at this moment, may I request from our participants to give a virtual applause to Sir Romel, Sir, to Engineer Roldan, I mean. Thank you very much. <laughs> Our e registration chairperson, Ms. Asel Arsenyas, MHM, to lead us on our group photo op and e evaluation. Ms. Asel? Yes, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, let's now have our photo op and please turn on your cameras. Okay, in count of one, two, three, smile. One more, one, two, three, smile. One more, one, two, three, smile. Okay, thank you. And for your evaluation link, uh, it is posted at the chat box and kindly fill it up correctly for the attendance and certificate. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Asa. Well, at this point of time, may I request to our dear participants to please turn off for cameras so that we organizer will going to have a photo opportunity with our speaker. Thank you very much. To that, please turn off and I for a moment. Okay. One, two, three. Bye. Another one. One, two, three. Smile. Okay. Thank you very much, engineer for your valuable time spending with us this afternoon. We are very grateful that a high caliber person may give us this opportunity to enlighten us in this field of project planning and development. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Engineer Pescos. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, <laughs> engineer. Thank you, engineer. Thank you, engineer Thank you. Pescos. Thank you, engineer. Okay. Thank you very much. So, are you ready, guys, for our third speaker? So, before we move forward, may I just check if our participants are still on their moods or are they still awakened in this field? At this point of time, I just greet the presence of Sister Rosalie M. Ubo, AR School Directress of College de Santa Ana Rita de San Carlos, of course. Mom Yodishma Limot, faculty member of College de Santa Rita de San Carlos Incorporated. Vilma Satur Reyes, Interim Acad Academic Dean, Northern Marias College. Mom Carlina Ulon, faculty of West Visayas State Youth Honey White Campus, Miss Honey Salvation of Fellowship Baptist College, Mr. Shal Navarro of Palawan State University, of course, 
our dear participants and students of Colleo de Santa Rita de San Carlos Incorporated, BSH and student of Altavas College, and the tourism and hospitality management faculty and students of Iloilo State of Fisheries, BSHM students of West Visay State University, Honeywell Campus and Timo Mylan Campus, BSHM students of Tata State University, and of course, the faculty and students of Gamera State University. A virtual applause. May I request for a heart emoji or coming from you students so that I can see if you are still with me or you're still with us. Okay. I've seen a lot, those heart and approved emojis. So thank you very much. Well, at this point of time, let's move forward. Are we all ready? May I request? Our technical chairperson, Ms. Maria P. Panadero, MMHRM, to introduce our third speaker. Thank you very much, uh, Doke Johanna. How is my uh, uh, sound? Okay, yeah. okay, anyway, good afternoon, uh, everyone. So I am tasked to introduce our third speaker. So I'm greatly privileged and honored to introduce our third speaker. Uh, her topic this afternoon is about the nature and purpose of comprehensive planning and comparative perspectives and planning process. She is a registered and licensed architect with a strong eye for innovative planning and design and a keen understanding of techniques geared toward optimum user experience. A young professional who is always open to new learnings for self growth and career development. She finished her primary and secondary education in St. Paul School, Barotac Nuevo, a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Architect in University of San Agustin. At present, she has a master's degree in urban and regional planning in University of the Philippines, Diliman, a draftsman in technical assistance movement for people and environment incorporated of Homeless People's Federation Philippine Incorporated, a junior architect of home solutions design, construction and supply. At present, a project architect, Associate Planner, Department Head at Paula Fox Associates. Help me welcome our third speaker, Architect Mia Tyrell Costillo Armada. Let's give her a virtual applause. Okay, uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, very uh, brief introduction of me for uh, everyone to get to know uh, a will of who I am and uh, what I do in my industry. So I'll just uh, maneuver my slides and share my screen. A moment, please. Okay. Uh, can everybody see uh, my screen sharing yes. now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, yes. thank you. So before I begin with uh, my topic, I'll, I'll just, I just want to know how everyone is doing, uh, how everyone coped up with uh, this pandemic era, knowing that um, all of us has uh, thrived through these challenges uh, in an overall context. So um, personally, I was... Uh, having a hard time to go home. Uh, as you all know, I'm based in Manila and my family are in Barotac Nuevo and uh, that was a very hard time for me because I wasn't able to go home. And uh, it gave me a lot of realization, no? Kay nakapuli lang ko sang may vaccines na, 
may transport na, may uh, ease of access na, and mobility for everyone. So why am I bringing this up? I want to relate my experience during the pandemic era to how the Philippines, especially uh, us here in Manila, in Iloilo and uh, nationwide are affected by these uh, sectoral factors. So as I've said, nabudlayan ko magpuli kay wala access, na mo permits, and etc. This is because uh, we are living in a third world country, not saying that we're poor, we are civically, civilly challenged in uh, different aspects of society. So, okay, uh, let me uh, talk about uh, the nature and purpose of comprehensive planning and comparative per perspectives, especially in different countries, the uh, Britons and uh, the Americas versus how we are here in the Philippines. And of course, uh, just a uh, gist of some of the planning processes that we have here in the country. So, okay. So what is planning? What is planning? Uh, do you have any idea of what it is? They, as we all know it, it's, it's a general word, uh, especially that we have uh, encounters with businesses. Like for me, sa akon, sa akon nga profession, no? uh, urban planner or environmental planner and architect, it's different for me, a different experience, a different workload, a different time frame, and etc. So for my topic, these are the items that we'll need to tackle and focus on. So number one, uh, urban planning or planning is an acad academic discipline in the urban and regional planning aspect. It could also be a regulated profession in, or in environmental planning. Regulations such as uh, environmental controls, no? bawal mag-amuni, bawal mag kahoy, bawal mag uh, tapas diri, magtanom diri, or mag, uh, ano ni, magtapan sang lupa sa bukid. Kay environmental control, hazardous to the community, and uh, might cause future risks, especially in uh, disasters. And uh, lastly, uh, planning could also be a mandate uh, in the local government unit sector, such as uh, involvements in town planning, comprehensive development planning, or CDPs, uh, the CLUP, or the comprehensive land use planning. Okay. okay. Moment lang. Okay. So first off, before uh, we begin with everything, I'll just uh, have a rough uh, discussion on the history of planning itself, where it began uh, way back, before the British era pa. So, uh, civilization and etc. That's how it started. And man became more uh, ideal and more intelligent on how to cope up with uh, solutions and how uh, urbanization is uh, thriving, up, thriving up. Okay, so the British had uh, gone through the experience of living in filth and uh, squalor in crowded cities brought about by the Industrial Revolution it and its concomitant massive urbanization. So during the Industrial Revolution, amuna ang uh, machine age, very polluted ang London. And uh, tama ka dako sang, ano ni, sang demand sa workforce or, ma or manpower na wala na control sa development. Siyempre, kwarta ang gasulod, ubra, jobs, opportunities. So their experience of living in that unsanitary uh, crowded uh, urban areas made uh, the British men realize early on uh, around uh, 18th century uh, their need for the government to interfere with uh, the market's focuses, forces rather, and uh, private property rights in uh, the interest of everyone or the social well-being. And okay, this led to the enactment of, uh, by the parliament of the earliest planning laws. And these laws blended uh, health with architecture, enabling housing to be built along the garden city concept of uh, Sir Ebenezer Howard 
which seeks to secure a healthy home, a beautiful house, a pleasant town, and a salubrious suburb. So the garden city concept, as shown in the picture, is uh, a centrifugal plan or a central plan uh, that emanates uh, the basic core or the main core of the development as the main uh, economic center, which ripples as it goes by to the residential areas. And the effect is, ang ripple nga na, tanan na maka-benefit from uh, health, uh, education, um, economy, and etc. So uh, the local authorities back then had also enforced by laws that imposed minimum standards of street width and construction regulated heights, structure and layout of buildings to ensure light and air and immunity from fire and provided services like ample safe water supply, syempre nita mag-inom sa tindong nga tubig, drainage and sewage disposal. So experience of living in better housing conditions because of public health interventions of local authorities facilitated this effect to the entire general, general public acceptance of this principle called as uh, town planning and became a function of the government. And thus, this concerns planning which expanded from being merely a technique for controlling the layout and design of residential areas, but increasingly a part of national and national economic and social planning. So if mapansin nyo nga amay subdivision kita, nga amay atria, nga amay mega world, nga amay SM complex. So this is the reason why uh, we have those kind of uh, planning principles in the urban context. So reflecting the total engagement of, uh, the to of the government in planning, the British men have uh, set up a unitary structure for planning and development control where uh, the authority flows all the way from the top down to the local communities, wherein planning policy emanates from an act of uh, the parliament or their head authority following the recommendations of a commissioned white paper. White paper is called as their legal document. So, amutong hambal kugina nga CDP or Comprehensive Development Plans and CLUP or Comprehensive Land Use Plan. And uh, lastly, circulars and guidelines are issued by the concerned department secretary, uh, in this case, uh, the Department of Environment sa Philippines, to the countries which prepare a structure plan. Here we go. So what is a structure plan? Uh, a structure plan is a broad uh, strategic framework for the development of the country, consisting only diagrams, illustration, and descriptive matter. And it is also, it is also a policy document, not a physical design plan, written document lang siya, policy making body and etc. By laws wherein the community or society will follow to make the physical plans. And uh, it also indicates action areas where within the country where major changes are expected to happen in the future. So with that, uh, amun ang ginhambal nila no, sa mga kakamping, ang plano bala ni Lenny? Amun na. So long-term, long-term planning and projections to anticipate future risks, future, um, ano ni, uh, future outbursts in the economy and other sectoral developments. And uh, also, a structure plan is also subject to review and approval by the Department of Environment Secretary. So, structure plan versus the local plan. Ang local plan, uh, this is where the broad policies of the structure plan are detailed. And it is a plan which consists of a written sa statement uh, a map on an ordinance within a large scale and uh, surveyed geodetically together with uh, diagrams, illustrations, and descriptive matter. And uh, local plan is 
also indicating the manner in which uh, a local planning authority proposed that land in their area should be used. And essentially, uh, a local plan or a zoning plan defines the sites of uh, proposed uh, public roads, uh, buildings, um, structural works, uh, airports, parks and open spaces, uh, leisure areas, nature reserves, or uh, ang hindi pwede itandog ang mga reservoir, and other open spaces or allocates areas of lands for use of agricultural, industrial, residential, and other purposes that it may uh, be potential to be used of. The main functions of uh, the local plan is uh, to develop the general policies of the structure plan and relate them to the specific areas of land where it intends to be used. So um, it also provides a detailed basis for uh, development control. And it also provides a detailed basis for coordinating the development and other uses of land and it could bring local and detailed planning issues before and on to the public. So what are the types of uh, local plan? We have the district plan, the special area plan, and uh, the subject plan. The district plan is a detailed comprehensive plan that embraces the entire territorial boundaries of a district. The special area plan is a plan for an area that needs intensive change in the form of development, redevelopment or improvement by local authorities or by private enterprise. And the subject plan deals with uh, specific aspects of planning like conservation, housing, landscaping, and etc. District plan, for example, is uh, the plan for uh, the district of La Paz, Anong Obrajon sa La Paz Plaza. Uh, ano pang apart sang La Paz, especially public spaces, which will benefit for the mass. And the special area plan, macro na to si La Paz, makadtuta sa micro. Example, si ISAT, that's micro. What are we gonna do with ISAT that will greatly affect uh, La Paz district? And the subject area plan, hambal ko ganit dina, mas micro pagid sulod sang isat like example ang building ni isat ipa renovate nila and etc or ipa refurbish ipa retrofit kay guba na daan na ang una okay so we're done with uh, the british we'll proceed with the americans The founding fathers of the New World carefully thought of the physical form of uh, their cities, hence setting down those communities they believed conducive to realizing functional and humanly fulfilling settlements. Uh, like the British, the Americans, despite uh, their strong adherence to the free market economy, accept uh, the necessity of state regulation. Planning also to the Americans is a function of the government. The Americans do not have a completely vertical national local planning structure due to their, to their feather, federal system of government. And for them, uh, planning is a responsibility of individual states, knowing nakadako sang Americano. So they have to divide this uh, planning responsibility by state. And within the state, a hierarchical structure exists with the state at the top and the regions and local governments below by structure from the highest to the lowest. And uh, the federal government, its role is to push uh, banner programs of the incumbent administration, usually consisting of uh, community development, urban renewal uh, or, or redevelopment and enact uh, enabling laws and provide the funding for local governments to implement. The Americans uh, also mandated the plan to be issued by the state the legislatures. And within each state, comprehensive 
planning pertains to regions, metropolitans, and small towns and cities. The state enabling acts require local governments to practice zoning, and zoning must be in accordance with a comprehensive plan. And also, by virtue of the Standard City Planning Enabling Act of 1928, issued by the U.S. Department of Commerce, all cities and municipalities municipalities are mandated to have their comprehensive plan, as well as here in the Philippines, required katatanan. And if we ask our government employees here, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, amuna, required na, and it uh, needs updating from every time span, like say 10 years, every 20 years, 30 years, and so on. The Section 7 of the said Act defines a comprehensive plan uh, or also known as a master plan or general plan and its purpose thus the plan shall be made with a general purpose of guiding and accomplishing a coordinated adjusted and harmonious development of the municipality and its environs which will in accordance with present and future needs best promote health safety, morals, order, convenience, prosperity, and general work, welfare, as well as efficiency and economy in the process of development, including among other things, adequate provision for traffic, the promotion of safety from fire and other dangers, adequate provision for light and air, the, pro the promotion of the healthful and convenient distribution of population, the promotion of good civic design and arrangement, wise and efficient expenditure of public funds, and the adequate provision of public utilities and other public requirements. Okay. So here are the nature and functions of the comprehensive plan or general plan or master plan. It is a physical plan and it reflects social and economic values. And the plan is fundamentally a guide to the physical development of the entire society. The plan should be long range. A good plan should be slightly utopian and must inspire and challenge us with a vision of what might be. But it would also tell us to realize that vision that it tells. Next is the plan should be comprehensive. It should cover the entire city uh, or area geographically and encompasses all the functions that make a community work and the interrelationships among those functions. Next, the plan is a statement policy. It covers community desires as to quantity, character, location, and rate of growth, and indicates how these desires are to be achieved. Lastly, the plan serves as a guide to decision-making by planners, legislators, executive and executives, and managers. So how did the term planning got here in the Philippines? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so how did the term planning got to the Philippines? The last decade of the American rule or the Commonwealth period from 1936 to 1946 was spent tutoring the Filipinos on self-government. One area of initiation in self-management was urban planning. So here we go. Through an executive order issued by the last president of a uh, Commonwealth, Serio Osmeña Sr., the first physical planning body, the National Urban Planning Commission was created. The mandate of the commission was a verbatim copy of Section 7 of the U.S., the one that I read earlier. Uh, the Department of Commerce Standard City Planning Enabling Act of 1928. The same mandate was uh, carried over by uh, the successor agencies of the NUPC, the National Planning Commission, and then by the uh, 
Environmental Planning Division of the Bureau of Community Depart Development of the Department of Local Government and Community Development. And also, uh, during the martial law regime of uh, late President Marcos, the mandate was transferred to, uh, what do you call this, the Ministry of Human Settlements. And the mandate was to prepare comprehensive plans which remained with uh, uh, the national government until year 1991, when it was developed to local governments under the LGC or the Local Government Code. A moment. So we proceed with uh, a more in-depth uh, topic under my discussion, which is the project planning and development processes here in the Philippines. And to start with, uh, let's define project initiation. So what are public projects? And going back to uh, the definition of what the project is, uh, it could be defined as a uh, temporary endeavor to create a unique product, a service, and or a result. And a project uh, answers the questions, what and when. Uh, a project, a public project, however, is a temporary endeavor undertaken managed or overseen by one or more publicly funded organizations to create a unique product or service of public value. And uh, a public project answers uh, questions like uh, who, when, uh, whom, where, and why. Public sector management uh, is the application and integration of project planning, selecting agents and monitoring and control, controlling work to achieve a unique public sector project vision. And uh, by that, if napansin nyo, no, kung magkato ka mo sa mga munisipyo, inlain ang mission and vision nila, it's because of this. Every uh, LGU uh, should be unique and has to... Uh, think of a vision that will entice the uh, entire LGU as well as the community to participate in and engage in this, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, mandate. Okay. So this public sector project management uh, calls for adequate project planning to correctly identify both the problems to be solved and uh, the scope of work. Uh, it also selects the best possible agents, example, uh, in-house, um, consultants, or by contract or contractors. And uh, it also monitor the work that gets done and make corrections or on record. Uh, project identification uh, determines uh, the existing needs or potential deficiencies. Uh, it establishes the concepts uh, that provide strategic guidance to overcome this existing or potential def deficiencies. It also identifies initial technical, environmental, and economic considerations of the project. Uh, the project identification also examines some alternative ways to accomplish uh, the desired objectives. And it also makes initial assessment of costs, time frame, and the exact scope of the project. It could also identify uh, human and non-human resources to create or support the facilities uh, required for the said project. And it selects the initial project design. Project vision, uh, its purpose in undertaking projects is to solve problems. It also creates public value and uh, paints a picture of what a project is 
hope to accomplish. What it looks like after it's done, and uh, what it what what are the effects of uh, that project is after a few year, uh, years to the uh, stakeholders, the community, and uh, other members of society. And where do conceptual ideas for public projects come from? Mm -hmm. Setting the stage for the right solution. The key step in uh, project planning is the correct identification of, of the problem. In planning a project, the problem or problems must be framed correctly that uh, the project is meant to be solved. And one way to ensure that the problem is correctly identified is to consider it in terms of uh, the agencies or the stakeholders overall strategic planning. Uh, okay, questioning presumptions. Example of it are, uh, what are the presumptions behind the pros and cons for the options that are being considered? What experiences, if any, validates those presumptions? And lastly, imposing these questions about the options being considered can force many hidden presumptions out into the open. Identifying project goals. The goal uh, is a statement of purpose and direction towards which all object objectives work, activities and tasks will point. The identification of uh, project goals will define the final outcome in terms of the end product or services that are being identified as the project. And uh, it is the continual point um, of reference for setting disputes and misunderstandings about the project. So you have the goal to fix those issues, and there we go. And lastly, it could be a guide that keeps all the objectives and the work associated with them on track. After you identify the project goals, you list the objectives. And uh, objectives cover the major components of the project or milestones or major project steps. Uh, objectives are not actual work that is accomplished, but um, sub goals which direct work activity. And it's more precise statements than the goal statement. And uh, smart objectives is essential for effective project planning. There is a uh, metro, mostly mag apply ka if you tend to mention the term or the key smart uh, in your um, professional experiences or your uh, goal as a, as a professional. Uh, it is a key word for HR. <laughs> so tip lang. Uh, they prefer professionals who consider this approach. Second part of the project planning and development processes is through public uh, project formulation, sorry. It is the preparation of detailed plans that requires to support the facility. It indicates possible technical pa packages to be considered. And uh, the project formulation is a more realis realistic assessment of costs, time, schedule, and uh, operational requirements and it is also a firm identification of human and other resources required for the project and it determines necessary support system it identifies and uh, initiates preparation of documents required to support uh, the proposed project <clears throat> Next step to project planning and development processes is uh, the aspects of feasibility studies or appraisal. 
a feasibility study is a comparable to a business project business case in the private sector or the project charter. Modules are uh, the demand and supply or market module, technical or engineering module, manpower and administrative module, financial module, economic, social, institutional, and environmental module. So here are the guide questions for uh, this feasibility studies uh, that you will do or will do in order to uh, develop the project or have the project be uh, considered in this uh, process. Okay. So conception versus uh, reality. Eight liga uso ang mga meme on um, expectation versus reality, di bala. So on this in this concept, the conception is what we plan ahead, what we project, what we uh, want the society to have, or say sa business world, no, what we aim to gain, to profit or manage. Amo na siya si conception. Reality, in fact, is what's happening after that conception phase. And uh, this, too, should meet halfway to form a design, feasibility, and appraisal. That should be the result of conceptual conception and reality approach. So uh, here are the aspects of feasibility study under the technical aspect. So first is we should consider uh, the site data. Uh, under the site data, we'll need to gather data such as geology, soil conditions, drainage characteristic, climatic conditions, water supply, waste disposal power, and or transportation. The site data, uh, amun na ang permeable lang may nag-site visit or site ocular, kay we can't just plan or plan physically a development or project without seeing how it is in the actual sense. So, budlay na karon kasi bala, uh, ano ni, bukid siya gali, tapos ang ginhatag sa amun nga geodetic plan or topography plan is tapan. So, May damo na technology, may drone survey, may uh, actual survey, or ang makita nyo na nga do, may ano ni, ang do may stand ba lang, may camera, nga galing ling 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 na, ang unang geodetic survey or land survey. So, vital siya. That's why, uh, hindi lang na lagaw ang ocular. Site visit is uh, an important part of the preliminary planning phase. And uh, next aspect is, ay, sorry. Not yet, none. Under the technical aspect, uh, uh, one consideration also is the choice of available technologies, as said. So, equipment and machinery, manufacturing process, and spare parts. Also, uh, design should be considered and studied early on. Layout, the engineering requirements and construction materials to be used or ano ang construction materials na ginagamit na dira. Okay, some uh, projects in the architectural sense, say historical project, no? And it's, it needs uh, retrofitting, but we used a different approach because it's expensive. So say, mahal i-retrofit si amuning nga building. Gubunta na lang. Tapos mapatindog ka bago. Okay, mas barato, pero ilugun ta ang itsura. So, amun na siya. Feasibility study man na siya under the technical aspect. It lessens cost, time, and uh, the technology available or materials and uh, system on how to do it. Lastly, under the technical uh, aspect is uh, consideration in manpower. So, could it be professional, uh, technical, or... Uh, just the labor force. Okay. Next aspect to consider under the uh, feasibility study is uh, the economic aspect. So we have to uh, always dive on uh, to the latest trends on the demand and supply 
from both the domestic and export, not just uh, goods, also the services, and also the marketing program. And uh, followed by that is the employment impact uh, from professional, technical, and labor force, and also the materials needed, if need ba, para siya locally or domestically, or need ba e export from, say, China, or uh, marble from China, or kung diin man, Romblon. Okay. Next aspect is the administrative act aspect. And under the administrative aspect to consider is uh, the internal organization. And um, we should consider the structure, the authorities, the lines of communication, and the flexibility of that said uh, organization. Also, the external linkages, uh, the government support, its regulations, and how they are funded. The personnel also. Uh, what are the needs and capabilities of uh, your personnel? Um, what are their positions? How are they described? Or what are they prescribed to do in their jobs? Um, what are the local versus the foreign trends? What are the policies, administrative, sorry, <laughs> what are the policies, administrative policies that are being uh, mandated? Okay. And that's the management <laughs> plan. We have to consider the management of the project, control techniques, and scheduling techniques. Next aspect is uh, via the environmental. So the environmental aspect considers the physical or uh, the water, the land, the air, and the noise. Also ecological species, uh, species, um, sang mga sapat and population kita ang mga tao, habitats and communities and ecosystems. Aesthetic, uh, what are the aesthetics in land, air, water, biota, man-made objects, and uh, its overall composition in the physical aspect. And social, or the individual well-being, the social interactions within the social commune or community and the overall community being. And uh, next is the social or political aspect. And uh, aspects to consider under these are the social impact, to consider also on culture and lifestyle, uh, demography, the political impact, equity or equality, social justice, political organization, and next is community resistance, and lastly, institutional resistance. Uh, under it is uh, the legal constraints and stability of political support. Financial aspect. So under the financial considerations are the project design and implementation, cash flow studies, and profitability, source of funding, and uh, lastly, the adequacy of funds. Hmm. Okay, I think uh, this was uh, discussed earlier by the previous presenter, but uh, I'd like to just uh, have a brief uh, run on this uh, slide. So, The work breakdown structure is a deliverable oriented grouping of um, project elements that organizes and defines the total scope of the project. And uh, each descending level from say project goal to task one to task two represents an increasingly detailed definition of uh, the project work. Work not mentioned in this uh, work breakdown structure is outside the scope of the project. So what are the purposes of uh, the WBS? The WBS echoes project objectives, as mentioned earlier in the discussion. Uh, it is the organization chart for the project, and it creates uh, the logic for tracking costs, 
schedule and performance specifications for each element in the project. And uh, the WBS may also be used to communicate project status in forms of tables, Gantt charts, CRIT CP CPM, and other methodologies uh, introduced in the process. It may be used to improve uh, overall project communication. And uh, it also demonstrates how the project will be controlled. So here is a, a drawing or a rather representation of uh, what a work breakdown structure is. So level one is uh, the project title or the project itself. Two to three is the deliverable to sub deliverable. The deliverable is the major ones and the sub deliverables are the supporting deliverables or support documents. The lowest deliv deliverable are handled by the lowest management level in the WBS structure. And uh, five and six levels five, six are the cost account and work package. Cost account is the grouping of work packages for monitoring project and responsibility. And the work package is the identifiable work activities. Characteristics, characteristics of a successful WBS or work breakdown structure. Uh, its status and completion is easily measured. It has a very definite beginning and ending event and is familiar and the time to complete it and its associated costs can easily be estimated from prior experiences with this or similar activities. Since naka-document siya, naka-table, you can compare one thing to the other and correct them in ways na hindi na maliwat sa another project ta na pwede taubrahan sa WBS structure. It comprises work assignments that are manageable, measurable, integrable, and independent of work assignments in other activities. And it should normally constitute one continuous stream of work from start to finish. So creating a WBS. The activities uh, is a set of tasks that needs to be undertaken to complete a part of the project. The tasks then is an item of work to be completed within a project. And the milestone is the important event within a project, such as achieving a key project deliverable. So this one, if you want to take a, screen, a screenshot of this uh, for reference, since, it, since this is a general WBS uh, table structure, you can take a screenshot of it. So you can make, make use of it in your studies. Okay. Let's show this one. Okay. So construct a, public, a project schedule. You may list the processes, activities, and tasks required to complete the project, as well as the dependencies, sequencing, and uh, resources involved. So the picture attached is uh, an actual Gantt chart of my project uh, here in my work in the company. And uh, if you can see, there are sub-deliverables, main deliverables, in one chart and uh, and uh, it shows what the dates for the start and the number of days for production and sorry hindi hindi ko nabutang ang sa end date no <laughs> wala ko na update okay so ang bars na ni ang colored blue bars shows the intervals or uh, ano nga projects or ano nga phases or sub deliverables ang gadulungan pwede mo i-manage within the time frame or phase of the project. Okay. So we also need to determine dependencies. Say finish to start, 
finish to finish, start to start, or start to finish. Also, we need to identify our assumptions and constraints. For example, for assumptions, project will not change in scope. Uh, the resources identified will be available upon request. And also, approved funding will be available upon request. Amo ni sa government. You can just say nga, ay mapatindog ta bago nga ano, public market. Hindi na pwede. It has to undergo uh, proper um, project uh, process. May bidding na sila. So, amo na. It could take years to finish because they have a phasing plan. Phasing plan naman, uh, it identifies the cost and uh, time frame on how it's going to be developed or done. And for the constraints, uh, project team involved must create all the physical deliverables within the allocated budget. And work must be undertaken with a normal working hours only. Ambot kung karelate ka mo da. Putiway na lang no. <laughs> okay. So we also need to create a resource plan where we identify the different types of resources that are needed to complete the project from labor, equipment, and materials. And we need to quantify the amount of each type of resource material. And lastly, we need to schedule the consumption of each resource within the project para kung makulang, balanta kung saan ito i-procure liwat. Kung ano kung magsobra naman, diin ka siya i-allocate. Okay. Aside from those kind of plans, we also need to plan financially. We make a list of our financial expenses. Ari typical naman sa mga asawa din rin, no? Uh, mga mommies nga nag-grocery, before tang magkagto sa grocery, we check our ref or our pantry or our kitchen cabinets on what we need to buy for us to uh, anticipate uh, contingencies, overhead, and um, whatever we need to prepare on, especially. And next, we forecast the unit cost of each expense type. And we calculate the total amount of each expense item needed to undertake the project. Okay. As I've said, you can take a screenshot uh, if you want, since uh, I made this presentation um, just for this uh, webinar event. So this is not owned by our company. Okay. So the estimating guidelines for times, costs, and uh, resources involve responsibility and the use of several people to estimate. The normal conditions within the project, its physical aspect or whatever, the time units or all task time estimates need consistent time units, the independence, the contingencies, and lastly, by adding risk assessment to the estimate that helps avoid surprises to stakeholders. Okay, so that ends my uh, presentation on uh, project management and development. And I hope uh, you got something from it. And I'd like to share how uh, I am in the planning profession as uh, an architect. Okay, so our company has been uh, globally competitive toward excellence, and this multidisciplinary firm has carved a niche in uh, the architecture, planning urban design, and uh, our firm has provided a conducive environment to hone its staff's strengths and helped them discover their latent talents by enjoining them to consistently cultivate discipline and determination. Uh, so we have been working with uh, over 40 countries where we carried out different projects, over 51 million, billion plus square meters of master plan land area, 
21 million square meters uh, floor area design in the architectural uh, services and more than 1,800 projects since uh, the firm started and uh, the company has received more over 200 citations awards awards and citations sorry so the mission is to plan a sustainable future for all and create value in every place building and community that we design the vision does uh, envisions a social and uh, environmental renaissance through our innovative sustainable and uh, exemplary practice of architecture, planning, engineering, and uh, design. So uh, sh just sharing to you guys our flowchart of uh, professional design services. So as you can see, the first part is the planning and design or land development, where we uh, first begin with the macro or the urban and regional planning and it entails different sectoral studies, such as the feasibility studies, the provincial development plan, regional framework development plan, development action plan, transport or traffic plan, and a disaster preparedness action plan. And uh, say if uh, the client wants to proceed with, uh, we could go with uh, urban, conceptual development and tourism master planning. Usually, ang amunin namun na services uh, sa mga uh, beach projects. Uh, example is Siargao and um, San Vicente Palawan and Puerto Princesa. So we, prepare, we prepared uh, an interim report, inception, uh, and final master plan which projects uh, how will tourism be boosted sa ilang uh, uh, municipality, no? Or action plans on how to uh, avoid uh, environmental risk and promote uh, societal involvement. And after we go with macro, uh, we proceed with the micro or the conceptual master planning. It's where I am uh, uh, destined. Dira ako na assigned. So, um, usually, the master plan uh, projects that we have are small scale projects. Big, uh, huge scale projects are usually private companies, such as um, Clark Freeport Zone. Um, if you're familiar with uh, the latest project by Ramon Ang, uh, the SMC, uh, Bulacan Airport, yes. Uh, for now, Amuna is the biggest. Namun. And um, after we go with conceptual master planning, if we link ka munga i push through siya, no, to, through technical development, we proceed with site development planning. So just because I'm an architect, I can just uh, say nga pwede ka kapatin dira. That's why we have to, we have to check uh, the local policies, the existing um, mandates before we decide on what to put on, in this uh, area, especially with uh, public projects. So, okay. So after site development planning, we go with site engineering design, design of roads, uh, water distribution, waste uh, management, and etc. And of course, environmental designs, uh, such as conceptual urban design, uh, it's different from landscape. Uh, urban design is how we uh, plan and entice the public to uh, say, uh, have walking as an option for mobility. Okay, so it's an example lang. And conceptual landscape architectural design is what we see nga, nga uh, aesthetic, say, si Plaza Vela, no? Before it, uh, it was built like that, nag agi ni siya sa amuning process. Okay, so. Finally, yeah, is uh, implementation through the conceptual landscape and uh, architectural design. And then um, we also have the other department, our architectural and engineering design, which focuses on uh, buildings such as architectural, uh, interior, urban design, urban ano, furniture, 
and uh, landscape architectural designs also. Okay. So um, I'll just cite one example, uh, one project that I had uh, successfully turned over to uh, this past few years. I've been in Palafox for almost five years since uh, the end of uh, 2017. So I started there working as a, uh, a junior architect and then I, I got promoted as deputy and now I'm working as their department head for the master planning department. So uh, this one is the proposed National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management uh, Technical Insti Institute in uh, New Clark City, Clark, Pampanga. This is around uh, 13 hectares in, I'm oh, sorry, 10 hectares in area. And the purpose of this is a training center or facility for uh, persons uh, who are willing to work as uh, NDRRM uh, assistants and or hindi man need na uh, sa NDRRM. Um, as far as I know, uh, government sectors are required to be trained sa NDRRM or disaster risk preparedness. So the goal of this project is to hone uh, preparedness into one person and or community and maredi sila say, sa baha, sa sunog, sa linog, and etc. So basically, this is a school for that. Okay. So this is how we, uh, we recorded uh, the major milestones of the master development plan. And uh, this is how our planning that process took place. So we started with the project initiation phase and then the data collection all throughout the entire uh, development plan process. Under the de data collection is the inception phase or our initial uh, recommendations, citations, and uh, other factors before we begin with the major uh, deliverables of the projects. And uh, last for the data collection is the profile of planning area or the, uh, what do you call this? Profiling mo lang sang uh, area na naga show sang existing um, land uses, trends, uh, structures, and um, say settlements or residents nga ara dira. Uh, what else? Conditions such as soil, water, and uh, power for supply, and etc. And then after that, after the data, in the initial data collection phase, magkato na kami, magkato na kami sa concept development and mga pilaman taliwat as na labot naman ang final phase or the master development plan. So we also had our visioning. So I'm not sure if uh, our government employees here uh, has experienced um, public consultations sa mga ano no, projects na engaged sila. And uh, if you're familiar with, uh, there is a process called uh, the visioning for uh, the public, the stakeholders, and uh, to whoever this project will be uh, entailed to ang mga benefactors. And this is important. Uh, say, makadtok ka lang dito, mamati ka lang, pero ma-realize mo sa ulihi na sang naga ano ni nagapadayon na ang project makita mo nga ay may sense dali na ari ko dire so audience ka lang but you're taking part so that's why the visioning process is vital for us planners we need to know what the insights of uh, the benefactors or the uh, project uh, people who are affected with are going to benefit from this development. Okay, so we also identified uh, key principles in order to uh, develop this um, institute and, um, of course, uh, encourage ang mismo nga legislators or ang mismo nga si OCD no, or Office of. Um... Hello? 
I thought I lost my connection. Anyway, amuna. So we created principles for them to be encouraged. So we identified uh, two major principles for this development, and not just uh, physical uh, development principles, but also uh, principles for the entire sectors that will be involved all throughout the development phase. Okay, so I'll go fast. Next uh, project example is a master development plan of a Clark Freeport zone. So this is around 3,000 hectares and is located in Pampanga. Another one is a master plan study for Mailong around um, five hectares. Malaba lang siya. And uh, mostly it, uh, it entailed a business plan, projections on how um, this development will uh, see more um, profitable gains as the years go by. The heritage sites siya. So the owners or the ang nagtocure sang area nga ni wants to make sure if uh, if they purchase this uh, old site and uh, say propose a new development will it uh, prosper okay so that's a point of having a master plan study it also, it also has a feasibility studies uh, undertaken as the process went by One of the first projects that I had uh, in last 2018 was this one, the proposed Tindig Marawi community in uh, Marawi City. So it's sponsored by, uh, I mean, it's headed by Robin Padilla, and uh, this is privately funded. The area is about four hectares in total, and uh, the goal of the project is to um, have uh, this... Um, Balik, uh, ano ba to? Bayanihan. Bayanihan principle back in place and introduce it to the new, newer generations who will live in this society. Another project is uh, Leyte Ecological and Industrial Zone in Leyte, of course. So moreover, this project project's goal is to see how the industries there will thrive uh, for years, 30 years in plan projection. So since Damo supply si latest sa copper, uh, they want to um, explore how copper will uh, make later rise above horizons. Okay, as you know, Leyte and Zam Samar are poor cities, are one of the poor cities uh, in the Philippines. So we may say na resourcefully rich kita, but we're not using it uh, properly, mostly in the benefits uh, at the resources are um, foreign investors, and we benefit from them by working for them as uh, the workforce. So, since we're a third world country, sad to say, um, the reality is we don't have the we don't have the capacity and technology to explore what we have. And um, lastly, uh, ongoing ni siya, uh, the proposed uh, Armed Forces of the Philippines Health Center Command in Quezon City. Uh, this is existing. Um, they just want to uh, update the plans of uh, the hospital. Okay, ang plan ni AFPHSC before was, was too uh, exclusive only for the army. And since nagpa COVID, uh, they want to open the facility to the public and for the public to benefit from the technology and knowledge that they have in this facility. Okay. Okay, I think that's the last slide in my presentation. Uh, I hope you had in, you had fun, no? It's not boring. It's technical. So thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to speak to you guys. And I'm very much pleased to share with you uh, what I have learned uh, as a professional. And to be honest, since I'm still a student, I'm very open to new learnings 
And even if I graduate, I still want to learn more whenever I can. So sky is the limit. Uh, amo lang na. Thank you. Thank you very much to Architect Mia. That Thank was you. informative talk for every one of us. Since most of the participants here are students, it would truly yes. give them an uh, enlightenment in the future in terms of uh, planning of a project. Well, at this moment, um, our e-invitation chairperson, Gloria May F. Villieta, LPT MBT, will go into the... Thank you so much, Ma'am Johanna. Good afternoon to our dear speaker, Architect Armada. Good afternoon, Architect. Good afternoon, Ma'am. Yes, we are so grateful for such a timely and relevant topic that you have shared with us. Thank um, you. Actually, engineer, I was amazed with your sustainable and uh, innovative um, projects that you have presented Thank in your you. um, discussion. Uh, indeed, we have learned a lot of things from you in which we can apply to our current organization or profession. So at this juncture, we will have our open forum to our dear participants, please feel free to ask your questions. You can type your question in the Zoom chat box or you can raise your hand for you to be acknowledged. So uh, for our first question, um, it will be coming from one of the students of Gemara State University, um, Mam Saibel and Ramirez. Mam Saibel, go ahead. Thank you so much, Dr. Glory May. Good afternoon once again, Architect Pyril. Thank you so much for sharing your wonderful projects with us. Um, it's really quite impressive. And I've learned so much from you this afternoon. So I am Ms. Ibel Ann Ramirez. I am a graduate school student from Guimara State University. So my question is, why is there a need for a comprehensive planning process in order to be effective and successful in the community development? That would be all architect. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, with the word comprehensive, no, uh, how will we take um, how will we take it as it is? When we say comprehensive, it entitles a lot. Okay, so the need for uh, comprehensive planning is for the long term succession of the plan. Uh, as I've said, uh, we can't just say na we want to build uh, a hospital in Mandoriao. We can't just say that we want to have a new mall in SM City. That's where comprehensive planning takes place. Um, to all our government employees here, salute sa inyo kay maute magubra sang comprehensive plan. And it's not easy to implement those plans given the challenges, especially funding. So this plan, or these plans, are projections from the current timeline up to the years uh, that it will run. And um, as I've said, uh, more on for the profits and gains of uh, the municipality uh, in terms of, say, tourism, uh, paano ang sa healthcare na sector, especially education also. Ano ang plans sang aton ng LGU, especially ang aton ng national, national government? for our uh, students, for the future. And um, what else? Uh, comprehensive plans also projects budgets. So we see their uh, allocations for specific projects uh, that are um, being proposed um, way back before it's being uh, announced. So that's why we need it. We can't just say now we want to do this and that. We need to make a plan. I hope Thank I you. answered your question. Yes, for architect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Architect Armida, no? Armada, for enlightening us more um, on that aspect. No. Uh, yes. No. I agree that comprehensive plan is a tool that is intended to help further the economic prosperity of the community. So um, I can see um, 
uh, Sir Noli Diaz is raising his hand. Yes, Go ahead, Doc. Sir Noli. Okay, good afternoon, uh, my dear speaker. Ma'am, here is my question. Um, what is the setup of comprehensive planning in this new normal? And what are those adjustments encountered during the process of comprehensive planning in this new normal? Okay. Uh, it's still the same, to be honest. Um, comprehensive plans are mandates made by the government especially the national government, as mentioned, NEPC or the National Urban uh, Council, something like that. So uh, I think you're referring to a, a micro plan, which needs to be tackled on for uh, a smaller, a small scaled uh, issue, like say sa COVID. No? So it's more of um, how an LGU or a, say, ang inyong municipality, how, paano nila i-address ina. Pero in terms of uh, the term comprehensive plan, it's still the same. The approach is still the same. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Architect Armada. At this moment, we will have a Sister Marley Joy Sator for her question. Sister Marley, are you there? Thank you, um, Glory Me. Uh, first of all, I would like to express my gratitude to our speaker for a very comprehensive talk. I learned a lot, honestly. And then uh, <laughs> here's my question, architect. Um, in the first part of your talk, you made mention about uh, the British government uh, creating the Garden City concept, no? which made everyone uh, benefit from it. Now, in our country, the Philippines, um, I, have some, I have a question on this. No? What can you say about agricultural lands that are converted into housing projects? No? Oh, okay. Are there advantages or disadvantages? Uh, are there economic value or mm -hmm. no something no? Uh, in your own opinion. <laughs> okay, so uh, non-partisan man ako no. I don't uh, <laughs> I don't believe in particular uh, politician. Just so just because he said this or that. So I consider every factor that they want to do. So to be clear lang. I like the question, sister. <laughs> so thank you for that. Uh, actually, I'm. I do not agree with uh, lands or agricultural lands being converted as residential estates, especially by this particular politician. Not needed to be named because uh, it endangers the need for agriculture cultivation, economic uh, growth in that uh, agricultural sector. So knowing that ano kalapan sang atong grasslands, rice lands, we're giving boundaries on how we produce, on how we uh, explore um, agricultural business. Instead, we uh, let um, international agricultural suppliers dive into our country and supply rice, particularly rice, sugar. So that's the sad part. And I honestly don't agree with a uh, conversion of lands unless it is highly needed. Say, if ang land niya na hindi na arable, hindi na matanuman sang bugas, sang palamay, so anhunta na lang na, okay, let's think of something else. Let's build something here that will still benefit the people and uh, say, give opportunities, jobs, or uh, say, um, opportunities to have a better place to have leisure, say parks, no? Kayo doon ka laka na gidsang parks na ako gani diri sa Manila, di ba? Damo man di agricultural areas before. Makati is an agricultural area. Tapos to, syempre, we need to thrive as a whole, as a country. So we need to excel in terms of uh, different aspects in business. So I think... Uh, Sister, I still don't agree with that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Architect. Okay, thank you so much, Sister and Architect Armada. 
We have more questions coming from our participants. Another one is from one of the students of Gimara State University, um, Sir Michael Villarmino. Sir Michael, Thank go you. ahead. Hi, good afternoon, Architect Mea. Hello. So, my question is, if comprehensive plan is to extend longer, how do you approach monitoring, evaluating, and assessing your strategies to ensure a clear path to anticipate result? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for that. No, it's quite uh, complex because uh, it's monitored by the LGU, the planning uh, development in the LGU. Say so that's why the MPBO or the Municipal Planning Development Plan Office exists because they are the planning body of the local government unit. Say sang Dumangas or sang Gimaras or sang uh, city proper. So uh, they monitor it through uh, charts. I, I think I showed you the uh, Gantt chart earlier. And um, usually that's how they use it. Uh, Percentage-based uh, by accomplishments and years. And then uh, they try to see how they uh, manage their cost and distributions as well. Uh, as far as I know, that's for years. Yeah. Haven't worked with... Um, uh, the government in terms of uh, that aspect, no? some monitoring, but uh, I've seen how uh, my teacher or my previous professor in San Agustin did it. So I hope uh, someday, I hope someday, maambian ko man na because I'm very uh, much interested to explore uh, the planning realm. Thank you, architect. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you so much, Architect Armida Armada. Um, I have a question, uh, Architect. Uh, what is the role of the comprehensive plans in the environmental protection? Okay. Uh, as mentioned earlier, comprehensive plans are local policies and mandates that are being uh, uh, introduced in uh, different states or districts or LGUs. Uh, and are being promoted, highly promoted. Uh, nga sundo natin. Example, uh, environmental protection. One example is, um, si Gimaras lately, kapabot ang nasang windmills. Mm -hmm. And I think hopefully soon, same with uh, how Ilocos uh, conserve their technologies. The area is environmentally protected. They can't... Uh, fish or harvest um, aquaculture products along the area because of the turbulence caused by the windmills. So uh, the need for conserving the environment is vital because it will affect how the current situation of uh, the area is. And uh, if natandog, uh, how will it play uh, along with the current state and how will it move on from how it happened? Okay, architect, thank you so much. But thank you know, architect, uh, with all the advantages of comprehensive plans, why do you think um, it is not universally embraced? So uh, what are your recommendations uh, to ensure that comprehensive plans are being updated and implemented properly in the community? I think in one way or another, the community plays a big part in this. Uh, say, um, to be honest, I'm very proud that I'm Ilonggo. Nakita natin tanan no, kung paano mag-promote ang mga Ilonggo sa Iliilo. Kung paano kita maghalong sa aton nga mga uh, pumuluyo mismo. Say, um, if there are uh, local policies or small-scale policies being implemented in Tazuela, say, example lang, Bawal maghaboy basura. Eh kung maghaboy ka, amun ni amun na. And we know the hazards. We have been through uh, a very polluted uh, Iloilo River already. And we, overcome, we overcame that um, pollution. And why is there uh, the lack of uh, polluting it? Because people learn. And 
there were uh, better governance, to be honest. I think um, with lesser corruption, uh, implementation of plans will be um, implemented, to be honest. Um, if uh, the head authority is somewhat not um, giving a care or giving wala pa ke sa kung ano ang ginapropose na comprehensive plan ni MPDO na to, hindi man na siya madayun. So it's still the upper body who approves uh, what proposals on the comprehensive plans are. And if not approved, there's nothing we can do. So I think us, the community, should also influence those higher authorities for them to see uh, what the reality is uh, as a social commune. I think that's it. Yes, thank you so much once again, Architect Armada. Thank you. Um, now, I think we will have Dr. Gabby Palacios for her question. Dr. Gabby, are you there? Or we can have first um, Ma'am Johanna. Ma'am Johanna, go ahead. <laughs> Um, architect, I have a question because sometimes uh, it keeps on running on my mind. Um, how beneficial and how important does the build build program that has been imposed by our government? Can we really finance all of those expenses with the state of our economy right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very realistic approach. <laughs> Actually, uh, I like how the Build, Build, Build program is uh, made for the benefit of all because it, uh, it engage um, innovative approach no, in uh, societal development, especially ara ang mga improvements sa roads, ara ga benefit kita dira. But in terms of funding, I'm not sure how will we cope up with uh, those um, current funds that we're trying to cope up with right now, maybe if maybe if uh, our national government would take a dive into uh, other sectors, uh, focus on say agriculture, uh, say healthcare, uh, improvements on transport, maybe we could try to gain and profit from those and say have more of the build, build, build uh, proposals being built. Maybe. I think maybe. But I hope it will be uh, developed. Kanugun. <laughs> Kanugun. Pwede drawing lang. Kanugun good. Thank you very much. I think thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Ma'am Johanna, and uh, once again, uh, Architect Armada. Uh, architect, I will just to read the question of Dr. Gabby Palacios. Uh, Dr. Gabby, are you there na? Or uh, I will just to read your questions for our architect Armada. Architect, the question of Dr. Gabby is, what are the challenges encountered during the process of comprehensive planning? Architect. So the common uh, challenge in uh, comprehensive planning is... Uh, being uh, held during the public consultation period. Uh, as mentioned earlier, my visioning process, diba? So public consultation, we involve communities of different uh, sectors. Uh, I had an experience in a project in Dumaguete, uh, example lang of the challenge, no? I had to speak uh, to the, uh, paano man, sa mga imol, for them to understand that they will benefit what uh, their government is doing for them. Uh, they're having um, quite a misunderstanding of what's gonna happen. Kaya syempre pahalinun sila sa lupa nila and they don't even own those lands. It's owned by the government. It's a public land. But since they've lived there for long, say years, nagbata na, nagkaapo na. So that, that's one challenge because you will displace those families. And the challenge also is how will those community or set of families will support your proposed plans? 
if they experience this challenge after all. So, uh, one more siguro is uh, acceptance, public acceptance. Uh, if we propose something for them and they don't like it, they will go uh, beyond their ways to uh, object. Although wala man sila may mahimo. But of course, we need them. They're still... Um, uh, ano ba? They're still... Uh, drivers of that plan for the economy and uh, of course uh, key drivers man for it to work so if they don't cooperate i'm not sure how the plan will work so that's the very common uh, challenge public acceptance especially from those who are living uh, indigenously from the area which uh, the plans are being proposed Yes, architect. No, you know, I have realized that in some ways, um, developing a comprehensive plan is the easy part. But you know, the, the real yes. challenge <laughs> comes in translating a plan's yes. vision, goals, policies, and strategies into the day-to-day yes. -day operation or uh, action of the people in the community, right, architect? Correct. Okay, yes. maskin ano mo ka namin mm -hmm. sulat sang words mm -hmm. no bulak bulak if yes. they still don't sound well to them okay. and it does not resonate how you want the plans mm -hmm. to happen, it won't work. Yes, They're just exactly. flowery words that will make uh, mm -hmm. the mandate work, but it won't happen. Yes. Uh, at this point in time, we are encouraging our participants to post their question, to feel free to ask their questions. You can post your question in our chat box or you can raise your hand for you to be acknowledged we still have more time for the open forum um yes i have seen sir anthony spaniola sir anthony are you there go ahead with your question sir hi architect good afternoon hello sir anthony good afternoon my question since uh i have uh experience being a a part-time teacher you know, in one of the private school here, then I was tasked to teach one subject since I am an industry practitioner. Uh, the title of the subject is uh, Ergonomics, Facilities, Planning, and Design. Okay. So I think that's a new subject in on the new curriculum. So how important or applicable it is for the students to learn uh, ergonomics, planning, facilities, and design. Okay. Um, may thank I you. Ask, thank you for that, sir. Sorry for intervening. May I ask what uh, uh, what type of students or what subject are you focusing on teaching? Uh, they are hospitality management students. Okay, okay that's why. Um, I'll just share, no? May ergonomics man kami sa architecture way back sa college. Uh, ergonomics, uh, in layman's term, referred to uh, the common sense in consideration to design. Say, maglabot ko sa cabinet, no? Ipotot ko mo. So, ang common size or common height sa cabinet, example, is 1.8 in height. I'm just relating the answer, sir, ha, to your question. Ikay putot ako. Amo lang ning height okay, ko. So should I follow the standard? So the ergonomics part plays a high part in planning because you should consider not just the standard but the actual actual considerations uh for being um uh, ano ba ang gapabudlay sa challenge nga na mismo. Amo to. Since 1.8 ang overhead sa cabinet, kaya hindi ko malabot pilitin ko. So I have to adjust. But uh, it has to be comfortable for everyone. Kaya hindi lang ako ang makabenefit. So that's how I understand ergonomics. Ang kaya mo, kaya nila para sa tanan. Alright. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Hello, architect. Uh, we still have more questions. I hope you are still okay. Yes, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. So, can we have uh, Ma'am Maynin Lugugin, one of the students of Gimara State University, for the question, please? Ma'am 
Ma'am Maylin, are you there? Ayaw ko tagal na ano to. Hello, hello, good afternoon, Doc. Ah, okay, go ahead. Ah, good afternoon, architect. Hello, po. Yes. Um. Um. I would like to ask you a question. Um. Regarding with um this um planning. Ah, what do you call this? Ining comprehensive planning. Uh, just like, for example, um, um, with, uh, with uh, the government that they are trying to, uh, I think it, uh, they're trying to um, convert this, uh, um, uh, I mean, uh, for the, sorry, <laughs> okay. I was lost. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Doc Blormi, can I just... Uh, pass for now i'm not yet ready for the question ah, okay okay uh okay, okay. sorry sorry uh, we'll just go back to you ma'am yes yes, yes 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 okay uh, can we have at this time uh, ma'am astral arsenas i have I could, seen you are raising your hand one, doc glory okay. and architect yes, good afternoon uh, my question is uh, what is the most component or characteristic and characteristic of a uh, comprehensive planning the most component and characteristic of planning is the ano uh, um stakeholders us the Stake. people yes it's always for the benefit of uh, the people or the society who are living within a small community mapadako mapagamay it's for the people Okay. Thank you, architect. Thank you. Architect. Uh, yes, this is a personal question. No? Um, I have seen re your resume and I was uh, amazed. No, you're a promising <laughs> architect. You are still young. And, uh, you know, uh, I just want to know um, in your career or in your profession, I don't know for how many years already because you are still young. So I want to know uh, what is the biggest challenge so far that you have encountered as a project architect and project head in terms of comprehensive plans implementation and how were you able to overcome it? Okay. Maybe I could answer it in a personal manner also since it's a personal <laughs> question. So one is the one ratio. I think the hardest part is when you retire. And your brain wants to function, but you can't. So I think even with a pure heart, pure intention, with the love of the profession for planning, I hope everyone is, not just me, no, I hope everyone could find that light to continue thriving on. Not just planning, huh? even teachers, businessmen, nurses, especially this uh, era, the pandem pandemic era, no? I have been, um, I think all of us went through that. I've been anxious for a while. Arap ba lang ng dung kagahibi? Nga wala man, wala ka balo. Kahibi ka lang. And then you want to work, but you can't. But your brain wants you to. So I think that's one challenge. You can't sort out things from one another. Maybe it's because of stress, of doing a lot, since your cargo is a lot, then sa company. Since, okay, I got promoted, uh, I was happy at first, of course. <laughs> Who else won't, Dibala? So I was very happy. Until now, I'm happy of what, what I have done. But uh, I think I missed the part that I could do less. But I don't miss the part that I'm, I'm thriving for more. Because I'm still young and I'm able. So as a planner, I plan to do things ahead also. And then happy that I achieved it, not right on time. Some, mostly, gaka delay man, but I think there's a reason behind it. And uh, for now, my biggest challenge is kay nagadulungan na tanan nga projects, kay naga, ma end na ang term ni, ni Digong this uh, month. 
So, amuna, we have to finish it before his terms, be, before his term ends. So, I'm trying to sort my personal thoughts between how I am at work and how I am at home with my family, my dogs, <laughs> who are giving me a new kind of light right now. So, I hope everyone is okay with uh with the time being now. No, uh, we all understand what everyone is going through. So stress lang, stress lang ang naga pabudlay. But I wow. hope that stress is easy. We have families and friends to message and remind us what life is. So I think being optimistic is also the key to it. Thank you so much, Architect, no, um, for you, sharing Tony. your personal uh, experiences, especially during the at this time of pandemic. No, you are such an inspiration. Um, it can serve as a motivation for all of us. No? Oh, thank you. Yes, and uh, but you know, Architect, you have also experience. Uh, uh, you have have you encountered uh, people in the community who are resistant to change or yes, they're not convinced <laughs> of your sustainable <laughs> sustainable and innovative strategies. So how were you able to motivate those kinds of people in China? So far, if we have um, public consultations or public uh, talks, engagements with these uh, communities or sectoral communities, Si boss ga upod na. So he's our key to convince those people. Uh, also, kung wala man siya, we present them a more um, logical approach, a more realistic approach on how their future will be if they, if they decline their chance. And also, uh, to counter with, uh, the government should also take part in carrying those uh, responsibilities that they promised. So I think in one way or another, it has to be balanced. Not just us, but uh, also the ones who want to impose that change. But us, the as the planners or key drivers, or tools uh, that encourages those uh, people who are trying to resist from um, this development change. Siyempre, tanan man ta, nahadlok. So, I think the resistance is uh, adjustment and change to what's uh, what the future beholds for them. Okay, um, thank you so much, Architect Armada. I know uh, we can already go back to Mamainin. Mamainin, yes. are you ready? Yes, for okay, your question? sorry. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> sorry, it's okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, time. so my question for Architect Armada is. Um, uh, sometimes we are not. Uh, uh, we will encounter failure, whatever we we plan for. So, uh, in your case, how do you deal with those plans that you were not able to uh, uh, met successfully? Okay. So, uh, Mostly in the pl planning process, uh, we have. Uh, we give uh, three options no, in plans. And uh, those three options have different uh, proposals and uh, goals to achieve in the process. So only one, so three options ang pili bon. Sa isang na, ang aging pili, maliwat-liwat pa na siya. You can't please your stakeholder to agree with you even if all your pros and cons are being faced in context so um you just deal with it uh via the actual uh world sometimes people won't agree with you even if you try to convince them all the good things that they will benefit from so ang na mo, sige, client first na lang just we will agree with you and let you realize soon what's gonna happen with what you decided on but uh, mostly with the government projects, we are very firm with what we propose on. Of course, we remind them with uh, how their vision is being uh, written, how their um, goals are being placed, how they convinced uh, their societies to take part. 
So they can just back out or uh, take decisions out of it because the procedures the procedures have started already. Thank you so much, architect, for that uh, so, answer. Well, thank you so much, architect Armada, and of course to Ma Mayin, no. Um, to our dear participants, do you have any more questions for architect Armada? Uh, yes, um, Dr. Roslyn Abuan, go ahead, ma'am. Hello, architect Armada. <laughs> okay, so here's my question. Anyways, proud Tita here. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tita. As you all okay. know, guys. Tita Baby or Tita Roslyn invited me for this uh, speaking engagement. And uh, mm. of course, as much as I want to uh, say no, syempre, I'm also uh, excited for her uh, in doing this um, talk. And I'm always uh, excited for this kind of uh, webinars. I always say yes. <laughs> Okay, so architect. So, um, my question is a little bit personal, no? So, with the workload that you're having right now, so how do you manage to balance your professional life and your uh, personal life? Do you have uh, still have uh, time? <laughs> okay, to be honest, uh, I work even uh, off days or weekends if needed be. So uh, if there are no deadlines which are there these days, uh, I can uh, do personal stuff or personal uh, time, especially with uh, my family here. And um, But right now, uh, I just think na malagpasan ko na lang para hindi <laughs> na lang humakapoy. But uh, say example, managing, no, I cook food for the entire week para initun ko na lang and hindi na humanumdum. Convenience. And um, the only thing that's, uh, I think, um, contradicting is uh, the sleeping pattern that I have right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a uh, part of uh, or part and parcel of planning also architect <laughs> managing uh, and uh, what's this um, time management I guess <laughs> See it. thank you thank you thank you so much Mama Roslyn and of course to architect Armada and at this point in time you have a question coming from Ariel Gumbu from Altavas College. Uh, architect, how planning will help you manage time, post, quality changes, risk, and related issues? Architect. Um, it could help you manage those um, uh, issues um, if you chart them properly. As uh, mentioned earlier, I cited examples on uh, methodologies on how to plan, uh, particularly the Gantt chart. And um, I also explained how it works, where you can put your main deliverable and your sub-deliverables in place. And along with that, uh, along with the table, you should state your start, your end, and the number of days in production. Aside from the table that I uh, cited earlier, you can also include uh, the costings and um, remarks on, uh, say, an event uh, in that deliverable or milestone in that deliver deliverable that uh, had a constraint in production. So, to quantify those, uh, to give a balance and um, equation to that challenge, you can see the flow of uh, how you started, you ended, and the challenges along with it. You can identify your uh, issues and manage where you can pick them up. And maybe 
uh, provide a better solution on how you can do it next time. Uh, yes, uh, thank you so much, architect. Now, uh, I have seen um, Ma'am Santa Renea Tubalinal, one of the students of Gimara State University. Go ahead, Ma'am, for your question. Hello, good afternoon, architect. Hello. Um, you have a very commendable presentation, and thank you. Uh, my question is, as an expert in your field, um, if it's not too much to ask, architect, um, can you please recommend um, efficient and effective ways in terms of project planning? Um, since um, we are, we are, I, I am personally um, a, a new student of Doctor of Management in Business Administration. Thank you, architect. Thank you for that. Um, efficient. Being efficient is hard, to be honest. <laughs> but you have to just focus on uh, your goals. So that's why we need to set a vision. A vision on which you can see how your project will uh, proceed. After the vision, you set goals. Your goals are your sub-factors uh, on how you will reach your vision. And then after you set your goals, you proceed with the methodology of your project plan. You proceed with your, uh, ayun, yung, ga yung Gantt chart to see your time frame and all. And I think that's how you can have, you can, you can impose efficiency in your project plans. That's how I do it. I chart everything and set visions and set goals for each project that we have. Thank you, architect. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much, architect. Oh. Yes, yes. Thank you for that additional knowledge for all of us. No? Now we have another question coming from Kathleen Andres from Altabas College. Project planning or management is often the most challenging part or phase for a project manager. How do you help or control your team to deliver the project on time within budget and within schedule? Okay. Okay. Um, we have this uh, team huddle every week. We meet every Mondays and Fridays of the week. And we start our Mondays by uh, telling me, me telling them how they did uh, last weekend, what they did, and then um, I let them enumerate their projects one by one. And per project, I want to see the progress per phase. Uh, is it paid? Uh, is it delivered on time? What deliverables are needed to be submitted? Um, what help do we need from the team? So our current ch challenge now, no, to be honest, our current ch challenge in our department in master planning is uh, manpower. Especially this pandemic, kadamos ang nag-resign, nag-abroad, especially pag daugman sang uh, be proclaimed president natun. Because they don't agree with whatever he has in mind. So they went out. So what we need to do is, uh, ang one is to one ratio ng mga project, four is to one. Meaning, example lang, four projects, one person for the lower uh, positions. But ako, I have no choice. Uh, I can manage them, but I still have to have one project or two at least and be involved in every project that we have. So... For now, uh, we control our team with um, preparing um, presentations, uh, mini presentations lang. Maskin isa lang ka slide per project. Summary lang. Ano ang need ipasa sa subong week? Nag, uh, nag text si client ko ano ang kinanglan niya subong a week eh, para himo ang tapaagi. Ano pa? Uh, pwede kita papa extend. Kung pwede, ano ubahon ta? para ka pa extend kita. Kung na late, pwede ta kalagas, wala ta penalty. Kung wala penalty, ti san uta malagas. Ano ang kinanglan ug rahon? I just ask them uh, honest questions and they tend to deliver 
and try as much as they could. They're also young, by the way. They just graduated from architecture and we're trying to encourage them to pursue the planning profession since not most architecture students would uh, dive into this kind of uh, job. <laughs> Mostly design and build, to be honest. Uh, thank you so much, Architect Armada. I think that uh, answers the question of um, Kathleen Andres of Altavas College. Um, any more questions coming from our participants? Um, okay, um, Architect Armada, uh, any last words or uh, do you have something to add um like for example uh, i would like to hear because we have a lot of students here we have a lot of you know, participants who are students um coming from different schools from Capiz, also from Iloilo, bacolod and etc yeah, i've been trying to check the attendees and i've seen a lot of students yes yes no um yeah i okay we still have one question here coming from Bernard Barrera of, um, he is a Bachelor of Science in HM, Hospitality Management student. Uh, due to long period involved in business project as project manager, how do you usually deal with different challenges in your personal experience? Uh, most projects uh, eats a lot. Most projects eat time. Public projects, especially. The one that I showed last is the AFP HSC. It's been running since 2017. So imagine the slack, the project slack that it uh, it had all the way. So ang naghandle sa to iban pa. Ako pa nagsalo. Wala ko idea. So, hindi man siya hugot, but uh, as a manager, you have no choice but to deal with it. So, personally, uh, I learned how to delegate. I, I learned how to ask for help with the ones that, uh, that worked on it early on. Maskin hindi ko pa siya katim, no? Maskin hindi ko siya ka close. But since he had the resource to it, and the key to uh, completing the questions that needs to be answered in that project, I have to. And um, one more thing, long period. I think we can't do anything if it's public projects. They're the main uh, decision makers in this uh, type of um, development proposals. Say if they decide to terminate the project, and we won't gain or earn anything from it. Uh, we're not, uh, it depends upon the contract, if it's amenable. I think, I, I hope I answered the question right. Okay, uh, very well said, Architect Armida. And I think that um, answer the queries of Bernard Barrera of Altabas College, one of our student participants. Um, Yes, to our dear participants, do you have more questions before we end? Uh, okay, I think um, Architect Armada, that was the last question, but I would like you to, going back on my, once again, on my question, um, your last words, your advice no, to our students who are here because we have a lot of participants who are students no, from different schools um, in different uh, provinces. Um, what could be your advice or piece of advice to them for them to be successful in their choosing career or profession? Uh, I think... Um just have to prove yourself really every time. Minor uh, failures are not uh, the end of, of, of everything. If you want to pursue things, uh, just do it. 
failed my uh, licensure exam first. First mm -hmm. day. My first day. And uh, I had to dwell on my mistakes, on how I failed it. And uh, I think I had to go back on how to resolve those issues and admit to myself and accept why I failed. So it's more of acceptance if you experience failure. And if you have uh, gone through it, if you overcome, if you overcame those failures, don't always forget to step back and look at um, how you did or how, or how you overcame them. And don't forget uh, to always verify yourself. Assure yourself of what you've done. Many or small success are not uh, I'm, I'm saying na mapadako no, or mapagamay na success, always celebrate. I'm not saying na celebrate party, ha? Celebrate life. So uh, I think that's way to it. Just keep on doing what you like or doing what you love. Also study. <laughs> Hindi man pwede what you love lang. Don't forget to study. And maybe in relation to being a student, uh, always give time to yourself. Uh, don't forget to um, do other things other than doing life uh, within the range of being a student. Explore. That's it. And I hope you're all... Uh, you all gain something from me today and um, if you have any more questions feel free to uh, message me in messenger just search my name it will appear or send me an email uh, i can share them here in the chat box uh, i can answer that if given the time <laughs> wow thank you so much for that architect armada no, you are such an inspiration you are the source of our motivation for this afternoon. Um, not only for our participants or students, but also for us, um, for the faculty, and of course, for us as the employees. So I think uh, uh, that was the last question that we have for you, Architect Armada. Okay. And yes. And to our dear participants, uh, thank you so much for actively participating in our open forum. Um, and to our speaker, uh, Architect Armada, once again, thank you for your time. I know you are a busy person because you have mentioned you have <laughs> you are looking for more um, human uh, no, uh, people in your company, right? So. You are under power, or and then uh, you are here. Uh, you spend with us. No? You share with us your expertise and your knowledge on project planning and development. So it is now a challenge for all of us to apply what we have learned from you from this webinar. Once again, thank you and good afternoon. Thank you so much, Ms. Torimi, and everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Architect. Thank, thank you, Architect. Thank you, Glory May. And thank you very much, Architect. Um, I request everyone from our dear participants to give a virtual applause to Architect for her, for her valuable time spending us with us this afternoon. Truly, it is a productive and informative day for all of us. Three speakers coming from a very high caliber institutions and individuals is such a blessing for all of us. Well, at this moment, without further ado, um, may we call on our e-certificate chairperson, Sister Marty Sator, ARLPTMM, for awarding the e-certificate of appreciation to Architect Armada. Sister? Good afternoon again, everyone. Uh, Gimara State University Graduate School, Doctor of Management, Major in Business Administration. Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Architect Mia Pyreal Bostillo Armada for the gift of time and expertise as resource speaker 
during the DMBA 401 Project Planning and Development webinar with this theme, the nature and purpose of comprehensive planning in comparative perspective and the planning process. Given this 25th day of June 2022 via Zoom. Signed, Rosalyn G. Abuan, MBA, Webinar Chairperson. Signed, Mainen G. Lubugin, MBA, Webinar Co Chairperson. Signed, Dr. Gina B. Montes, DMBA, 401 Professor. Signed, Dr. Annalyn A. Hanaban, DMBA Program Head and Dr. Early M. Martyr, Dean of Graduate School. Thank you very much, Sister Marty. At this juncture, may I call on our e-registration chairperson, Mrs. Azel M. Arsenias, MHM, to lead us in our um, group photo opportunity and evaluation. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, now let's have our photo off. Kindly turn on your cameras. Okay. In count of one, two, three, smile. One more. One, two, three, smile. Again, one, two, three, smile. Okay. So for the e-evaluation link, uh, it is posted at the chat box and kindly fill it up correctly for the attendance and e-certificate. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Azel. What else? This Thank point you. of at this point of time, sorry, of our promotion and publicity chairperson, Mr. J. Martin B. Biglar, MBA for awarding of e certificate of participation. Uh, Joe, I'm sorry. Can we have first our picture? Uh, <laughs> with the organizer, with the speaker, please. Okay, okay. Uh, dear participants, can we request to turn off your uh, camera so that we organizers will be able to have an, a photo opportunity with our speaker? Okay, one, two, three. Another slide. One, two, three. Thank you very much, everyone. At this moment, say Dr. J. Martin. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so I'll come to read the contents of the certificate. Gimara State University Graduate School, Doctor of Management, major in Business Administration, awards the Certificate of Participation to all the participants for actively participating the DMBA 401 Project Planning and Development Webinar with the theme, The Nature and Purpose of Comprehensive Planning in Comparative Perspectives in the Planning Process, given on this 25th day of June of the year 2022 via Zoom. Signed, Roslyn G. Abuan, MBA, Webinar Chairperson. Signed, Mayan G. Lubugin, MBA, Webinar Co-Chairperson. Signed, Gina B. Montes, EDD, PhD, BM, DMBA 401 Professor. Signed, Annalyn A. Anaban, DMBA HRM, DMBA program head and signed early MRT PhD in of graduate school. Thank you so much, participants. Thank you very much, Sir Jeff Biglar. Well, at this point of time, our DMBA 401 professor advisor, Dr. Gina Mutimontes, will be awarding the e certificate of recognition. Uh, I would like first.
first request uh, Doki Roslin to award the certificate of participation to the particip to the GSU, the uh, Graduate School, Imana State University students, their certificate. And then, of course, we will provide the certificate of participation to the respective attendees, uh, care of to their respective faculty or um, respective the, the person who have invited them. So we will be, I know, I, we know that the students will be, the students are attending because they would also would like to have the certificate. So we would like to award them also the certificate through their respective advisors. So meanwhile, Dr. Roslin, you will have the floor to award the certificate to your classmates as the webinar chairperson. Doki Rosely, unmute, unmute. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Uh, so, good afternoon again, everyone. So, as what uh, Doki uh, J. Martin Biclar has read for the citation of the certificate of participation for the participants, let me uh, cite the same uh, certificate of participation to the following. Same certificate of participation is uh, given to Jet L. Disukatan, MBA. Ms. Saibel Ann A. Ramirez, MBA, HTM, CGSP. Michael M. Bilarmino, MBA, HM. <coughs> Johanna Grace Habiliana, MBA. Nolly B. Diaz Jr., MBA. Mainen G. Lubugin, MBA. Merichi S. Piñaranda, MM. Myra P. Paradero, MMHRM. Uh, same certificate is given to me. Thank you. Uh, also to Sister Marley A. Satur A-R-L-P-T-M-M. -M. Uh, same certificate is given to Gloremi S. Villaeva L-P-T-M-B-A. Also to Santa Renea C. Tobalinal, MBA. Also to Anthony Y. Espanola, MSHM. Also to Romel B. Abaldonado, MBA HM. And to Aziel M. Arsenas, MHM. To Gabby P. Palacios, MD, MBA, HA, CHA. To J. Martin B. Biclar, MBA. I think that's it. Thank you, dear participants and committee chairs. Now, let me give back the floor to Doki Johanna. Thank you very much, Dr. Roslyn. Without this point of time, our DMBA 401 professor advisor, Dr. Gina B. Montes, will, going, will be awarding a certificate of recognition. At this point of at this point, we would like to give affirmation and commendation to the hardworking, committed, and passionate men and women of the Doctor of Management in Business Administration or the DMBA 401 Project Planning and Development Class of Gumara State College of Gumara State University Graduate School, the working force behind the success of today's webinar. Citation reads. Gemara State University, 
graduate school doctor of management major in business administration certificate of recognition is given to the following for their valuable contribution and service during the dmba 401 project planning development webinar held today and given this 25th day of june of the year 2022 sign yours truly the advisor signed by the dmba program head dr annaline hanaban signed by the dean of the graduate school dean early uh, m martier to the webinar chairperson Rosalyn G. Abuan, MBA. To the webinar co-chairperson, Mainen J. Lubugin, MBA. Dali lang kida kaya ang idu kagahod-gahod. Sorry lang kid. Dali lang kid anay. While waiting for Doc Gina, we would like, on behalf of the MBA students, we would like to say thank you to all the participants of today's event, to the following. Of course, we have the HM students of Colegio de San Perita de San Carlos, HM students of Altavas College, Tourism and Hospitality Management Faculties and Students of Iloilo State College of Fisheries, BSHM Students of West Visayas State University, Haniwai and Himamaylan Campus, BSHM Students of Tati State University, and of course, the students and teachers of Gimara State University. Thank you very much, everyone. Well, at this point of time, students, participants, please do not forget to fill up or to um, uh, provide the evaluations on your chat box. Thank you very much. So I think Dr. Gina Mores is here. To the technical arrangement chairperson Ms. Ibel Ann A. Ramirez MBA HTM CGSP to the technical arrangement chairperson Myra P. Paradero MMHRM to the A program chairperson Sister Santa Renea sorry Santa Renea C. Tubalinal MBA To the e invitation chairperson, Glory Me S. Villaeba LPT MBA. To the e registration chairperson, Ashel M. Arsenias MHM. To the e certificate chairperson, Sister Marie A. Sator AP LPT MM. To the A Evaluation Chairperson and Lady of Ceremony, Johanna Grace G. Javeliana, MBA. To the A Poster and Zoom Background Chairperson, Michael M. Villarmino, MBA HM. To the Promotion and Publicity Chairperson, J. Martin P. Biclar, MBA. Promotion and Publicity Chairperson, Romel B. Abaldonado, MBA HM. Budget and Finance Chairperson, Mary Chies Peñaranda, MM. Documentation and Compilation Chairperson, Dr. Gabby P. Palacios, MBA CHA. Documentation and Compilation Chairperson, Anthony Y. Española, MSHM. Documentation and Compilation Chairperson, Nolly B. Diaz Jr., MBA. And to the Master of Ceremony, 
Jet L. Di Sukatan MBA. Congratulations, everyone, for the great job done. Kudos, bravo, mabuhay. Thank you very much, Doc Montes. Well, at this moment, our webinar co-chair presents Ms. Maynan B. Lubugin, MBA, will going to give her closing remarks. A beautiful afternoon to one and all. Allow me to first extend my heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to our distinguished guest speakers, Dr. Mercedes A. Young, Engineer Roldan Paul Pescos, and Architect Mia Peril G. Armada for sharing their valuable time and expertise with us today. To all the committee chairpersons for your hard work and cooperation in order to make this webinar a success. To our ever supportive professor, Dr. Gina Bulahan Montes, whose efforts have been beyond mentoring and inspiring us. And finally, to everyone else participated in the process who has been with us today from the start until this time. I am very well pleased with how everyone participated in this webinar, despite of individuals' usual conflicting commitments with work, home, and other professional engagements. For this, I am truly thankful. How I wish to continue listening and learning more but I am confident that with this opportunity, everyone has gained considerably sufficient and beneficial knowledge from different and broad professional experiences shared by our speakers, making them worthy of our admiration, praise, and respect. Before I call this day, I would like to leave you this quotation from Pablo Picasso, and it says, our goals can only be reached through a vehicle of a plan in which we must fervently believe and upon which we must vigorously act. There is no other route to success. Once again, my sincere thanks to all of you and congratulations to all of us. Thank you very much, Ms. Maynan Lubugin, for that very um, heartfelt closing remarks for everyone. To our dear participants, we thank you for your presence and time spending with us this day. It was indeed a fruitful and a beautiful um, Saturday for all of us. See you again on our next webinar. We thank you for your presence. This, this is the Hanabri Savoyana, your lady El ceremony for this afternoon's event. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Please do not leave the virtual room. We will still have our, our <clears throat> what is this? Evaluation and feedbacking. The other so, participants can leave, though. Yeah, the uh, other participants. I, 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 our special thank you to Architect Mia. Ah, nakagwa na siya. Lakaw pa salamat. Ah, uh, uh, nagthank you na yata siya, Doc. Ah, sige. Uh, okay, no problem. Thank sa, you. Sa ano sa chat box? Uh oh, thank you. Thank you to her. Okay. Dear students, you may now leave the room. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Uh, thank you to all the students who attended and the faculty as well. Thank you also to Doki Rochelle and uh, Doki Hani and uh, Doki Orlina. And likewise, the administrator, the sister of Sister, of sister Marie Marley, and then the bossing of Thank you so much.
We have a lot more, um, I think more than 100 pa. Again, may we request dear students and dear participants. Please do not leave the organizers. Please do not leave the our virtual room so that we will have our evaluation so that more or less we also have the closing of your hard work. Hindi lang ta maglive hindi we will not create another room lang kay karon ang iba hindi makasulod. <clears throat> So thank you, thank you to all the participants. How many are they still in the chat in, in our virtual room? More than 100. Please don't forget to answer the e-evaluation form, the evaluation, e-evaluation for speaker one, two, and three, so that you will have your certificates. Uh, Doki Johanna will make the summary of all the evaluation for speaker one, two, and three, and Duke Aishel will also make a summary of um, the e-registration, how many attendees are from um, Duke Michael's school, Duke Saibel, Duke Saibel school, and then for Nolly and uh, Johanna for WBSU, and then for Okay, Roslyn Iskov, <clears throat> and then, and of, of course, for Doki Romel and Doki Jet for Capsu. So you would like to know the later on, huh? uh, based on the consolidation of the consolidation of the e-evaluation and e-registration. So I think, are we good now? Can we start? May, may 91 pa, Doc, participants. May 91 pa. Nag-gulpi, kagina, nag-33, nag-91 nag naman. Nung 33 na, kasubong nag-91 naman. Oh, Doc. Sige ah. Kung hindi sila da mag- tigil da sila, basta masubot tayo. <laughs> Sa dyan sila, Dok. Masukod na iya. Nag-enjoy sila. Ya. Hindi takaroon niya matapos nung latong to sila, di ba? Okay. If I remember, I have only 30 minutes to do this. I promised myself that we will be off at 6 o'clock. So, uh, I will try my very best na nasigdasigong kung hindi the most the possible that I could. So, congratulations! Bravo! Excellent job! Kudos! Ang galing-galing! Give yourself a round of applause! Come on! Ang pato na bak! Bak, 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 Nolly, ang tsura mo, hindi na naman drawing. Smile, anay, Nolly, baby. Ang pananawan ko, anay, mga hitsura nila, sinikun-sino, ang hindi ma-drawing. O si Saibel daw, gasungaw ng init, siya ilong. Baya, tanawan ta pag-ini. Papang-interpreta nila. Pang interpret ay lechura. Wow, si sister, si sister, do mahigda nagi jo si sister o. Aha, mo nang chains wardrobe si Doki Glory Mir, ko ay nang yung blazer. Oh, ubahay, ubahay blazer. Ini do, ini do do kita do. Wao si Doki Michael man do ko nagauba na do si Doki Michael o. Si lagit nga do, okay. Si Lagid nga doon na dakpa na nag-aupa. Okay, si Duki Jet Ara. Nga doon ka, doa ka Jet Ara. And then, I have seen Romel a while ago. Okay. Congratulations. Uh, ah, so, Dokis, yes. ang mga, ay, well, ma'am, wait, ma'am. Ang mga gitang co-hosts ko ba lang, please kind of help me to remove the students. Then. Or, okay lang uh, lang sila. Uh, uh, uh. Ang yung co-host mo, oo, sige. Help them to remove you. To remove them. Ay. 
ano gusto nyo? Good points? Uh, good points or points to improve ang akong unahon? Or, or kamuanay po unahon ko, kamu makritik sa inyong kaugaling? Una. I have, remember, I have still my magic notebook with me. No? I have an errand to do. No? But I have I had I had the cell phone in my ears and in my in my bag. Atapos gidman. Wala gid ko sa may na miss. Napamatian ko gid tanan-tanan. Pagtapos ang do so ask question. Mhm. Mm Sige. Ano na do kinoli na pangubos mo na sila pang one? 38 mo. Still removing doc. <laughs> Still removing. Okay, congratulations, Deka. Pasugid-sugid ta anay subong sangmay na ang recruit ah. Please tell us how many have you recruited o sige. And then please also tell us your experience. What is your experience today? Oh, we would like to hear from your experience. How does it feel now that we're done? And you're done with your finals, all you have to do is to submit the narratives later on. Of which I will be giving the format. I am Ma Doc, Mom. Pila tayong kabilog? 23, 22. We're only 18, including my beautiful self. Okay. 17 lang kamo. Okay. 22. Pero may duwa duwa ng account. Ang imo duwa account mo, right? Yeah. Ay sa lang mom. Si Doki Glory mi duwa na iya. Account. Ako duwa man Doc. Duwa ang kay Doki Mai. So. Uh, 18, 18, 20, 20 tanan, dua ang kay Doki Roslyn, dua ang kay Doki Sai. Sino ni si Kapi State University po Tevedra? Wala ni siya. Te, okay na? 19. Be? Doki Johanna, Doki Marley, Basi, si Doki Romel, Romel na iyan yung alan. Doki Roslyn, Doki Anthony, Doki Johanna, Doki Jet, Doki Maynen, Doki Ischel, Doki Jet, Doki Isa, Doki Marichi. Sina si Kapi State University? So, naga, naga type in. Gabalik siya. Ano na siya? Si Mau. Sino ni si Mau? Hmm. Ma'am? Yeah? I-end ko na lang. Matag ko bago nga link. Okay lang? Or... Hindi na. Hindi na. Okay. Hindi na. Kaya karun madu mayawan. Kaya karun mayawan. Kaya karun pamunpon sa inyo. Kaso may madula nga damo. <laughs> oh, grabe si Doki Merici. Si P Juan Gituod, accountant. Gid. Huh? Dasig sa ES. Ang iya din nga mga kwano. Nakapadala na din sa kong pila na ang kwan. Ang iya collection. Kulit. <laughs> O oh, sige, everybody open your camera kaya mapicture ta anay. Nakita lang. Sino da ang ma... Duki Michael, ikaw ang makuha? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ambot sa inyo da yan. Kung wala ka mo yung nakakadlaw, kung wala ka mo yung nasa dyan, ang inyo na ginaya problema kung wala ka mo nasa dyan. Pasa ko yan, sumo makadlaw ko yung makadlaw. <laughs> makadlaw, go ahead. Okay, one, two, three. Lang. Okay, wait. Again. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Ang tinain nagdabaw. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. One more. Three, two, done. Thank you. 
Okay lang ha. Oh, nakuha ko na ito guru ah. Oho, sino ni si Kapi State University? Hindi siya kayo mal. Gabalik-balik siya, B. Sino ni siya? Siya magaling. Ahay. Romel, goro daw or si kay Doc. Ara na si Doc Romel, kitan ko na sa. Ara na siya yo. Yeah, yeah. Doc Romel imo na ang Kapi State University. Duwa imo account subong. Yes, Loy. Ako na ka gin gin ano ako sang host gin 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 dula ya ako. <laughs> ah, gali. O te sige na hindi na. Hindi na babayin na ana in babayin na si Capiz <laughs> University. Just kasi si Doki Rome gali na siya. Kagi na pa lang inom wang. Sige na dula na sa bala, nagbalik naman sa subong. Okay, okay. O sige na, go. Ano gid ka mo dani kun pila na inyo nga gin-recruit kag ano ang inyo nga una unta mga bag-o ang first time bala nga nag webinar gin-recruit okay gin-recruit ko tanan best BA kag best TM students ko doc pero few lang ang nagkasulod pero oh, ara man lang. teachers oh pero ara man teachers po doc kag school directress namon nag-attend man wow. siya oh that's what is the beauty of it you have the support of your school directress. And that's what really matters most. More the support. So, bingo. Bravo, mabuhay. Now, your experience as a technical chairperson and then also helping the e-registry certificates. Okay. okay, Sai, go ahead. Actually, do, kung, in, kung wala ko nagbiyahe, okay, carry ko, get tanan. Kaso, amun ang tuapan ko, nagbiyahe ko. So, I left some work nga last minute ko na, na na change yesterday and this morning so nagsagol ang fatigue sa travel kag kay pag-abot ko doc straight gid ko edit and finalize so amo lang gito ang apan pero feel ko if hindi ko mag-travel okay gid kay recommend doc ang ano um na ano lang ko nag-grasp lang ko sa first part kay siguro if damo ko like for example ga moderate ko sa Q&A tapos mag ano pa ko sa mga gagahod ga ga, ga mute medyo ga divide ako ang attention so that's the part nga medyo inefficient ko uh, switching from one task to another maratol ko so um, amo na siya doc pero um okay man lang I, I was able to recover in the afternoon in the later sessions because um siguro Naka-rest man ginagmay, kag man yung support nilang Doki Mayra, kag Doki Roslyn and sister. So, I was also chatting with them while sa session. So, dako-dako gid ang help nila as kaan, support po sa akin. So, ang um, lang na siya, Doki, it's quite normal in every ano nga, hindi gid na ako ma-perfect. Yeah, um, technical. The technical, uh, we cannot perfect it even we would like 100% mm. perfect. Okay, though I also put pressure on myself kung gusto ko gidhan ay tanan like na na na, na stress ko nga hindi ko ma-manage ang PowerPoint sa mga speakers kay amo na siya um kung hindi lang ko nag-travel tani na finalize ko earlier pero okay man kay damo man po ko support from the chairperson kag the rest of my classmates po. So okay man lang to doc. May ada maara lang ko siguro improve next nga mga webinars in the future. So would you like that we will assign somebody nga mang somebody lang gid nga mang unmute? Ay, wala sa wala sa obrahon mang unmute lang gid sa nga mang unmute. <laughs> Kayo may ara gito isa dok nga gi-mute ko na siya. Gasga sige lang gid siya unmute unmute tapos iyang camera sa paa pag gid niya gina focus. So amo to do. Focus sa estudyante. Estudyante o oh, tapos no hindi ko. Pero kasi no to estudyante ano nga school to kinanlan ma-feedback ta na. Wala siya, wala siya school? school. Wala siya school, Doc. Name lang niya. Bawang, ah, katanda man sa iya. Wala man siya nagbutang school kay parang uh, mm. hindi makul ang attention sa nag-recruit. Oo mo na siya, Doc. Random, Sige Ayhan. Lang. Kaya nag, nag-share man po ko sa poster na itong, Doc, sa Facebook group na Hospitality and Tourism Webinar. So, siguro may ara po mga tagalain school nga wala. Gin-recruit na mo na naka-join kay gin-public ko dito sa Facebook group nga purely webinars lang. Siguro tagalain to siya nga school po. Okay. Okay. So the uh, congratulations for your job well done for the technical arrangement. 
as well as for being a um, very good moderator. No? And although you have your limitations, you travel, yet you, what matters most, you have done your job. No? You have done your job so well. And congratulations for that. A great job done. Duki Saibel. Thank you, Doc Gina. Thank you to my co-chair, Doc Myra, for the always supporting. Kag si Doc Roslyn. Thank you, good. Damo, damo, good help niya. Let's proceed now. Magdugay pang kamukul. Yes, Doc Joanna, go ahead. Doc, pwede ako. Kami another class. Lady of Ceremony. Yes. I mean, pwede ako do, danay, Doc. Kami another class ko, Doc. May session ko 6 p.m. Go ahead. Okay, sa akong Doc, nang nervous gid ko. Kay first time ko ni mag-MC, tapos wala pa ba si Sir Jack. Kaya in case ko sa lagid man ko, aras siya pa take over. So first time ko gid na dahan mag-MC, Doc. Tinashake ko, wala akong kabalo kung ano na ako ko kagina. Si Amuna kagina nga daw. Wala pa po ni kabalo sa mga brahman ko. <laughs> Uh, there are lots of attendees. It's really different from though na agyan ko naman eh, na agyan naman naman ang webinar before doc. Pero wala yung gijagaligay ang ang mag ano kaya doc mag MC ka kay dapat wala kang giga kaubusan words. Dapat ano ka <laughs> Now you understand the show of Doc Jet. Yes. But then the positive effect is I was after another um task na hindi ko man use na ginaobra before. So oh man lang na doc. So congratulations Doki Johanna, you have done your best as a moderator. <clears throat> And then your baptism of fire as your lady of ceremony. However, you survive. Uh, what matters most, you survive. And now you can gladly say, ah, now I know how to be a host. <laughs> Congratulations for the great job done. Look at Johanna. Thank you. Did you recruit? Mom. Yes. Yes, I'm not good. I'm good, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Sige. So again, no. So every time we have a webinar with this, no, uh, the MBA, I do always have gigs or events. So normal seems on last. Uh, while having um webinar, I do the makeup of my bride, then the entourage and the uh, debutant. So medyo hassle gids a part kaya I just bring my laptop lang gid ja sa makeup room nga katingala mga photographers pag ano nga nga may laptop pa kag may wakal-wakal sa kilid so ang bako ba inyo lang da kay gatan ko webinar for for Dr. Red so with regards to the Zoom link I am very sorry last time for the inconvenience kaya medyo na late gid ka tama kay tungod nga Ang una-una ko nga Zoom, premium Zoom account, actually, ito sa nga ako nga partner, unfortunately, 50 lang kabilog ang maka-attend. So, kalawa, yung mga 50 lang ang maka-attend sa sang webinar, nga, which is actually, uh, if kaya, malang sa damo, nga, being day. So, medyo na late siya, I asked permission sa ako nga principal in other school no, to borrow the... Zoom uh, premium account so he allowed me lang man nga mag magusar sang account and uh, analysis siya ko naman siya sang last nga if basi miya pag ito sa webinar pwede ko liwat mahulam baka mo na so so far so good man na itawid man for today ang kanan niya activity no kag damo nag attend so congratulations to us and thank you so much, uh, everybody. Congratulations, uh, Dr. Kinoli. Great job done in your introduction. As well as uh, thank you so much for uh, generously looking for the Zoom account of which you will be using. So with grateful heart, salamat, Gid. 
because yes. you extend a help for the yes, class. Thank you. That's what matters. Okay lang tong late. Wala problema. Bang importante may ara. And you have 290 participants. So, gapaabot ako, gabantay ako nga. Bisan mag-300 din sa kagmadula. Dula-dula lang ang iban. Tani. No? no Iawan ko bantay-bantay sang 300. So, I think the most is, is 290. I do not know kung may ara pa ng sobra sa 290. So, wala so, na to. So, wala na. Okay. So, thank you so much, Kokinomi. Good afternoon, Doc. Good afternoon, Doc. Yeah. Oh, sige. Ano ki merit? <laughs> Baptism of fire. Baptism ni siya. Masa ano ki merit? Dal no? Dali lang bala, Doc. Eh. Basi maglalakat ni sila karon. Oh, hindi ka mo maglakat. Wala pa ko malakat ako sa akong evaluation. <laughs> Ang si Jet nagabayo, manong karisa. <laughs> Hindi ka mo maglakad kay mahirit lang mo. Magaling sila. Nagmamadali sila, may lakad. Ano ba? <laughs> Kung gadali ka mo, unahon ko niyo ah. Kung gadali ka mo, unahon ka mo. Unahon ko niya. Very good arrival in the virtual room because it's ahead of time. Very good house rule, opening prayer, and national anthem. Very good welcome address by the, the, your... Um, webinar chairperson, Dr. Roslyn, the purpose statement of purpose by Dr. Santa, the presentation of participants by Dr. Merit. Very good also introduction of the first speaker by Dr. Nolly and uh, an open forum by Dr. Johanna. Those who ask questions are the following for the first speaker. I noted because I'm very particular when you ask questions because this is a graded final exam. So, Doki Glory Me, Doki Myra, Doki Jet, Doki Romel, Doki Ruslin. And there are three from WVSU Honeyway Campus. There are eight questions in the chat box. And since we do not have much time, so we only catered to three. And for that, bravo, ang galing. Ang galing kasi ang dami ng questions. So, very good also, the awarding of the e-certificate by Doki Anthony. And the... Uh, Group photo op and evaluation by Doki Asia. Very good introduction of the second speaker by Doki uh, Michael. No? And uh, uh, like the uh, very good open forum moderator, Doki Saibel. And those who ask questions are the following Doki Santa, Doki Jet. Uh, that this is Doki uh, Jet, nga isa ni Kati. Si, Biklar ni siya, yeah. And then, Doki Johanna, and Doki Michael, and of course, Mary, uh, Doki Merichi. So you you have to tell me uh, if I missed to record. So very good awarding of his certificate by Doki Ramel, as well as group photo op and the evaluation by Doki Asial. Very good introduction of the third speaker. No? Powerful ang pag-introduce ni Doki Mayra. <clears throat> and uh, bao ka namin namin again. Uh, excellent job for Doki Glory Me for the uh, as moderator kay Kabalugid siya magsalo. So damo siya ad libs. Damo man siya gin pamangkot kung nagahinulat hulat pa nga daw wala pa. Damo damo gid siya gin pitch in na ad lib. So I really appreciate Doki Glory Me and very good for those who ask questions are the following. Uh, Doki Ashel, Doki Mainen, Doki Anton. Kang kay Duki Gab Ginbasa, Duki Saibel, Duki Michael, Duki Noli, Duki Glory Me, Duki Johanna, Duki Santa. By this, no, may ara, may ara iya sa inyo nga nag <clears throat> double na ang mga questions and I really appreciate that. And of course, that's that's more merit uh, merit on your part. Very good awarding of a certificate hapon na pero si Sister Marley may power pagyapon. The group photo op an evaluation of Duki Asial an awarding of e-certificate by Duki J. Martin. Si Jet nga isa si J. Martin is siya. Uh, very good closing remarks of Duki Mainen, powerful man. Ang, ang, ang opening, ang uh, welcome remarks ni webinar chair, kag powerful man ang uh, closing remarks ni co-chairperson. The master of ceremony, no, Duki Jet have done uh, a very good part in the in the morning and uh, 
do ki Johanna, we understand that it is her first time kagali ginakulbaan siya. So that's why that's why nga ang karon di bilang sa points for improvement. Patingala ka. Pero ginbutang ko lang niya kay para may kadlawan later. Very good e-poster. <clears throat> And Zoom background, Duki Michael, ang galing. Very good e-program, Duki Santa, ang galing. Very good technical arrangement, Duki Saibal and Duki Myra, ang galing. Likewise, very good in e-invitation, Duki Glory Me, kaya ang kilid sa uh, letter, may aragid nga, may letterhead, kagdason, may aragid nga mga committees. No? Very good for that. Very good e-registration, Duki Asiel. Very good e-certificate of recognition for the organizer, for the participants, and for the speaker, uh, Doki Saibel and Sister Marley. Very good e-evaluation. Bili, may obra pa ni Gilea si Doki Johanna, kaya ang evaluation, i-consolidate siya pa kasi Doki Asiel sa ila registration. Very good promotion and publicity. I would like to commend the following people because I had visited your Facebook and the following people had posted. No? So therefore, they are helping the, the promotion and publicity of our webinar. Of course, uh, Duki Romel, Duki Glory Me, Duki Jetty Sukatan, Duki Saibel, and Duki Michael. So those are, I had visited individually, and those are only, um, <clears throat> those are only um, whom I have seen um, The announcement, no announcement for them, uh, public information and asking people to join. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Well appreciated, get. Ang budget and finance pertigid ni siya ya, pertigid ni ako nga pertigid ni siya kaya ano ano log ni siya nagapost, pertigid ni siya dito ay dugay ni siya nagapost kaya nagapost. Tapos gin message ko na lang ang wala ay naluoy na ko sa iya kay dugay-dugay siya nagapost kay wala yung panatapos ang iya nga, nga ang iya nga alam ang iya kum, nga complete nga alam mo tan gin message ko na lang ang iya nga mga nagkulang kay naluoy naging ko sa iya <laughs> sininok yung mahirang yung nabuligan ka na ni ma'am <laughs> and then Miret uh, very good for you ang tanan niya yung very good ko. Great job, Dan. Aha, kudos, bravo. Ang galing-galing mabuhay. Uh, very good also. I know nga uh, si Doki Noli and din Doki Anton. Kabalo na gini sila yas ang uh, documentation and compilation. Kagti, siyempre, si Do kabalo ko nga uh, si Doki Anton ang nagpang grabe ni ang iya. Wala na siya gahalin-halin. Guru da <laughs> sa iya pangukuan for the... <clears throat> for the documentation. So I know uh, because the last time in Isila, they would usually submit uh, on time. No? So advance congratulations for that. Those who are present during the tech run are the following. Congratulations. Great job done. Anton, Asia, Saibel, Glory Me, Jet, and isa ka Jet, Johanna. And then although si Merit, I appreciate nyo bisan late. And then Michael, Myra, Nen, Noli, nagdula-dula. And then Romel, Santa, and Sister Marley. Sorry ha, kaya kung nagdula-dula, ginahambal ko gina. <coughs> Sadya-sadya lang niya. Okay? Yes, Very good webinar chairperson, Doki Roslin. And co-chairperson, Doki Maynen. Grabe, baptiso mo, fireman ni sila. Kaya bag-uman ni sila, nag-chair sa webinar. Ang galing-galing. Very good, everybody, because you take part in the program. Wonderful. Amazing. For the improvements, relax. Ah. Nadula, paputol-putol. Um, I understand this. Ah. Kay, ang technical, hindi mo ginagawa mo perfect. Bisa daanhon mo pa. Nadula, putol-putol. Kuno, hambal ni Manny sa ibang nga countdown. So, yung sulat ko na lang. Kadula-dula ang statement of purpose ni Duki Santa. Wala na ito na-check nga wala pagaling speaker one nang sugod na ta. Wahahaha. <laughs> Grape ni Jan. Lagi ko tunuturo sa ito nga. Wala pagaling na ito na-check ang speaker ara. Unang speaker ara na sa virtual room at is ito nang sugod. So, si I can Duki confirm yun ito, Doc. Nga 9.45 gid siya masulod. Wala pa siya nagsulod. 9.30. 
Johnny, no? And then before, yeah, nga kwa no audio and no video, no? For me, ro. And then we're glad. Nga later on with the help of Doki, Saibal and Doki Jet na ka audio na. Uh, although, <coughs> nagpanik pa si Doki Meritche, later niya pagsulod, uh, simply because nga niya kuno to laptop, nagloading, tapos tip nag cellphone siya wala background ako amo man ni wala man background kay cellphone nako kay ti na may I, i have also some something to ano ni errand no in going to the hospital no in going to the hospital and then in going to the bank pero wala gi kuya sa may namis sa in sa inyo dira wala gi kuya may namis if you notice i use my husband cellphone no celestino montes wala na kamute ang participant sa kaginahod well Dr. Young is speaking ha 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 botang ko de three times pao so, sang hapon amo mang gihapon may nagasining get and see Dr. Glory me when she asked question and can also see uh, Michael when he introduced the second ara to si Michael ara jura ya wala ay ay sorry okay Johanna oh, yes 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 na take note ko okay. She can see in the screen nalipatan. And then uh, nalipatan ang master ang MBA ni Doki Michael. Organizer for to uh, part 2 and part 3 nalipatan man pero na hingagaw pa man ah. Certificate of <clears throat> participation nalipatan man. That is how important our tech run. No? Maybe you will realize now, good like kung wala sa tech run. Hey, 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 hey. Butang ko sa ako notebook. Total score. For the positive, for the positive, I give you five points. For the points for improvement, I, I, I only did that one point. So your total score is 35 points times five. And your total, no, 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 35, no, it's not. 35 minus 13, 13 is your points of improvement. So your total score is 22, 22 times 5. Your score is what? Your score is, anybody, you can give me the score. 110. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, Sabat, siya lang lang yan, may 110, Andre. 110. <laughs> 110. 110. 110. <laughs> Tawa na kita, Doc May. <laughs> ah, sige ah. Okay ah. Kinaklaim mo, Doc May. Ra, okay. Wala po. 100. 135 to ako niya, Doc, para na. 110 plus ano, Doc? Plus 90, 200. <laughs> <laughs> 110. Uh, your score is 110. So, congratulations. For the excellent job, no? Well done for this afternoon. No? All your labor and all your pains and agony, your sleepless night is paid over now. What's your... Oh, dali, dali ka mo, tiginang yung dali ko man eh. Oh, sino na da, mambal dali ana? Then Go ahead. Go ahead. Ako da. Sure. Dali na. Ara anay do. Bao ah, ka gwapa sa akon. Ira. <laughs> Ay hala ano to? Nagbaylo dali lang liwat do. Ikaw Roslyn mahili ka gid sa amo na. na. Pero ka pakramat ko sa imo kay ikaw. Ikaw lang gid may amo sina Roslyn mo. With all my students. Can bear karon do. 2019 20, 2018 ko nang start sa GSC. 19 20 21 22 for years ikaw lang gid ang amo sina. Anyway, uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Happy rito. Kay unfair makaroto kami may certificate. Ikaw yung wala. <laughs> diba? So, so, I will read, Doc. Gimara State College. So, sunon ko ang ano ni Doki Jet. Gimara State College. Nga na college kita. Kaya doon yung university Ay, naman kita. Wala na edit. Gali, Doc. Sorry. <laughs> Sige. So, diba? si Jet. Gimara State College Graduate School presents a Doctor of Management in Business Administration. 
this is certificate of appreciation is proudly presented to Dr. Gina B. Montes for the gift of time and ending patience, understanding and guidance to the students of DMBA for the second semester, school year 2021-2022, given this 25th day of June 2022. You're for a forever grateful DMBA 401 students. We love you and God bless you more po, Doc Gina. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Pambalunta si Meritche. Thank you, my dear Roslyn. Uh, I will be forever grateful to you and to your team as, as long as I live. I will cherish these memories and I will keep this with me wherever I am, wherever I go, whatever mission God will give me. <laughs> Sige, si Meritche, Anna, kagaina pa ni Sabala, pambalong ka man isa. Sige na, go! Sige, Dok, go. <laughs> Thank you, Dok. Kay BC Abby, nag-set up sila ni Sabo, oh, pero Sabo ko, kabata ko. Actually, sa invitation, ko palaan kung may na-invite ko, kay more on FB ako, kay uh, sa LGUB ako, ang bata ko, ta, kay electrical engineering, related sa iya, galing BC, kay Pabunyag, Dahon Buas. Tapos, sana encounter ko sa Aina ba? Early pa ako, okay na ang background ko. Pagkatapos nag-practice, pag ito ko gini-encode ko pa ang mga kuan kaina, ang mga participants, all of a sudden, may start na uh, dugay-dugay ako na ang hambal. Amo na ito nag-loading, ang ang <laughs> nag-loading, na-stress ako nung nadula ako sa kuan ng ginakulbaan. So, kumaano ako. <laughs> So naisip ko, gamit ako cellphone, pero amo na siya wala sa background. Tapos doon mag-upa na. Kung ba na nga, kung sige, practice ko kayo na sa kagaga. Pali ba? Harap sa gabi. <laughs> Ay, nako. Pero, okay naman. Pero, <laughs> Grabe kayo ang practice mo. <laughs> Nabukog yun. Dali naman ba na sa kagaga. Okay. <laughs> But you have done your job naman. What, that's what matters uh, most. You, Tapos wala akong maka-attend sa moving up, kabata ko. <laughs> oh my God! Moving up niya subong? Nasa gaga-aga. O, tinaglakat okay. ka lang, kuya. Ginaglakat ka lang. Wala. Kung nasa ng nagdala ka lang cellphone, yung butang mo lang sa dulunggan mo. Oh, Ay, wala ka Yes, you can okay, do may that. May part ako. <laughs> may part abi ako do do kiti amo to sa ko nga. Ay hindi na lang sa ko next time na lang. Oy, dapat tagambal ka, nagbaylo ka. Dapat magaamo mabaylo ka kung kay sino sa hapon imo imo time. Dason sa aga, nagpabaylo ka kung sino to ang sa hapon nga pwede mas swap sa imo. Yes, Naisip kang fight ko doon. <laughs> Tapos buwas kay Bunyag, suka so busy, busy. Sila di ka set up. Sige nila ako sa amok. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kili. Thank you. Oh, anak, touching ko pag-sacrifice mo, ah. Next time, ha, make your child your priority. My, my dear. Make your Tapos child your priority. Uh, wala ako makakuha na late. Ako sa ekran, pinag-abot ang bukang brother ko. Aling sa bulakan, nag-drop by the resamon. Sagin ka to ana mo no lasang signal e 15 years kami na wala makita nay <laughs> Okay A better late than never ah importante ara ka Thank you Doki So and congratulations my dear Doki okay, Mayra? Ang nag-claim ng 110 iya grade. Ay, Dok. Sa finals, ha? Sa finals. Lumbal ko ako na. Ginimos ko man ako ng headset. 1.1 na. 
No, totoo, nagkasakit ako na migraine. I'm suffering for my migraine this time, but uh, anyway. Kaya lang ito ka. Ako nagaling. Okay na na, nabulong na ng migraine, kaya yung final, 110. Ganit, Doc. Thank you, Gid. Uh, anyway, uh, do wala, hindi ko nag-effort, hindi masyado sa promotion. <laughs> do ay may gina, ano ba, may mga hugot-hugot na. But anyway, I have invited from ESCO, my code faculty, eh, dara siya kagina, so far, may isa, hindi ko talagang in-invite. So, wala, hindi ko naka-invite sa students, kay ano na nila, same break na nila. And, uh, gawbran ako sa ilang grades, so wala ko pa And then, wala ko ka-post sa Facebook, so hindi pa ko ready. Uh, honestly speaking, so hindi pa ko ready mag-post, Doc, kay, syempre, pa si Imam Bal, sila ba? <laughs> as much as possible, hindi pa ko magpagulong nga nag-eskwela sa, as a doctorate, wala doon ko. So, muna doon, hindi ko pa, wala pa ako naka-adjust. So, muna doon, so I'm, I'm still trying to <laughs> ginaano ko pang self ko. So, basi, my next subject, siguro i-post ko na na siya. Dok, hindi ko mati. Ah, naka-mute ka, Dok? Sorry. Si, si Lingko, huu, ah, tag-uha lang, Anna. Pakibuta na sila matapos. <laughs> ah, I understand. So, oh, Dok, pasensya, Gid, kay do, wala pa. Nag- no problem. Nag-reflect ako sa buong... <laughs> Okay, no problem. Anyway, anyway, thank you kay Dukisay, kay Dona Phil, kung bidang ano niya. So, as a mother, as a mother, do na ano, kinayangan, agyan, kakapoy, no? And I'm very thankful, maski gamay lang na bagay, nakabulig man ako, no? Actually, technical is do grab it. Uh, although, nakateach ako before sa STI, <clears throat> naka, at least may gamay na akong knowledge. Kung mga inisubong, do, hindi pa akong ano, good siya. But uh, anyway, na-appreciate man ni Ma'am Sa- ni Dok Doki Sai nga ako na <laughs> agaw may nga bulig, no? Anyway, salamat. So, ang kagina lang, kuno sa introduction, dogin kapila ko gin praktisan. <laughs> praktisan ko gidang bonggang-bongga. Okay, para do at least bala sa isa lang ka muna at least lumayo man ako nga performance. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I hope sa sunod nga, nga, sa, nga subject na webinar, uh, to ginaforce ko na, hindi na ko nga, ano, di, na, di naman ako nga committee, no? Kaya, the, the, this is a good uh, experience, no? And then opportunity, no? To damo learnings on my part. And I really, I'm gonna ganito, no? You really have, you, you, you really don't stop, no? Uh, learning. Especially with sa edad ko, no do wala gid ko naga stop sang nga maglearn no kisa do nga wonder ko sa mga students ko do sila eh, pa do ka ano sila pro ako yang nga tigulang ko yeah, still i still continue and this one is uh, a great opportunity do nag pop up lang do ko kibot nang kung gintawgan mo lang ko ara nag enroll na ko <laughs> dahil do do ay bala do si do golpe lang siya nagsulod ng opportunity so anyway ah uh, wala na siguro nga ako nga ano gid Uh, hopefully, na, nahimo ko man ang ako ng part this afternoon. Okay, thank you. Yes, congratulations. Keep up. <clears throat> si Sister Marley, pa- ay, ala, si Jet Gambal. Thank you, my dear. Do. Nami na ako ng 110 ang grade, no? <laughs> o, Duki Jet. <laughs> Duki Jet, garis ka gitsang hand mo. Ikaw na, anak. Oh, wala man siya. Kasi ilang sa race. Oh, sino na? Na-travel una? siya, Doc. Hello, Doc. Ako na lang, Git. Oh, sige, go. Uh, by the way, good evening, everyone. So, especially, I'm very happy about sa output natin. Uh, uh, we gathered uh, the quality ng mga speaker. So... Happy gid ako kag happy man ang mga students. By the yes, way, yes, congratulations um, damo-damo imo estudyante nag So, it's part of my anong na ma'am nang kinatawag na ako nga um tawag na gin encourage ko gid sila kay as part sang ilang uh, requirements man ma'am sa ilang uh, OJT summer. So, of course, uh it includes at to sa amon um, nga ng training plan ang ginatawag namon nga they should have to attend uh, 
um, some seminars or webinar seminar. So, and then uh, with the help of Sir Jet also, I forgot to, uh, no, to mention or to tag uh, him before sa, sa promotion, ma'am. But of course, kami naman lang, Jet, diri sa Capso Pontevedra ang nag- nag-communicate. Then, sang pag- uh, pag ano ko, pag- uh, promote ko sa FB, may nag-ask sa akin kung saan ang enrollment for <laughs> ang, ang, ang enrollment ang ma-start sa ano, sa Gimaras, kay may may classmate ako before sa ako niya masteral nga willing to ano, to enroll. So, that is part of ano man na kumbaga motivation for them to be able to be part of uh, our institution kumaga sa graduate school so by the way thank you very much for for everyone nga uh, mga sa working committees they ma'am lubugin nga mga teacher ko na sila before when i was in sagrado so salamat gid at least diri subong nagkilit anay na <laughs> even sang nagligad gin inform ko man si sir ano si sir so ka dito kay nag ano siya din nag uh, chat monitoring nagkita na naman kami then happy gid siya nga nang naka-enroll ako and at the same time continuous ang akon nga nga uh, pag-eskwela sa akon nga doctorate Congratulations and thank you gid kay daw ka grabe ito mang kapso 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 to da mo sa ila no thank you so much and congrats Thank you, okay. Thank you very Thank you, much. Thank you, And for the publicity as well and the promotion. I know si Jet ang message sa akin nga sa mga GC lang sa, sa mga group chat sa nagpadala. Correct. Uh, correct, Doc. Nang nag-ano gidman kami, even ang ano, ang Capsule Pilar, gin-invite ko man si Sir Randolph. Uh, gin-send ko man sa ilang nga mga GC. So, it's up to them sa ko kung mag-join sila. At least gin ano ko gin gin forward ko sa ilang aton nga i-poster bala nga madaya poster git so muto so i don't know kay wala ko naman na check ang aton nga chat box kung ang kapsular nag join or other organizations or other department man especially ang CM sa Pontevedra ang College of Management gin inform ko man si Dean about sa ating nga webinar so siling niya i-send lang sa amon nga GC so good send ko man so i don't know kung may mga uh, colleagues ako nga nang join kay so far wala ko good na check kay naga-focus uh -huh. sa bitang uh -huh. isang so, nga, ano, sa mga speaker thank you oh uh, thank you and congratulations <clears throat> sister marley din na Sorry, Di. Sister, how are you? Wala ka na. Sister? Sorry lang ko, Di. Thank you very much, Doc. Pasensya na for the past days kasi nag-retreat ako five days. So busy talaga. So wala. Thank you kay Ma'am Saibel talaga for doing my job. Kaya hindi ako techie person talaga. Anamin ko talaga yun. Tapos, Don't worry, Sister. <laughs> nag ano ako nag gaina gaina sang aga grabe pang send ko sa mga group chat kay bago man lang ko diri sa Bicol Abbey but may nag attend yung taga SRA na nag question kanina da, Doc Sai taga rito yon pero hindi ko pa siya kilala oo yung St. Raphael Academy uh, dito sister hello oh, sa, yung SRA St. Raphael Academy Raphael Academy dito sister oh, tapos, may attendee tayong outside the Philippines kasi yung sister ko sa Saipan yun, Northern Mariana oh Escalis, sa Saipan. Oh my gosh! Sabi, <laughs> sa Saipan patukali. <laughs> Opo. O, siya nandun. Tapos in-invite ko. Nag-attend naman. Buti naman. <laughs> Thank you, sister, ha? Because there's a uh, international lagaling <laughs> atong beauty. Eh, may Saipan. Oh. Kaya. Next time, siguro, baka may Hawaii tayo. <laughs> Wow, congratulations, sister. And ano I lang, through there. group chat lang po ako, Doc. Through group chat lang ko nag-send kanina kasi... Yeah, I understand, mga, sister. Yung dati kong students uh, dyan sa Santa Rita, ano lang, yung mayroon na, ano, inano ko rin kaso, nasa farm daw sila yung iba. So, konti lang. 
Hmm. Yung ano ko lang, yung comment ko lang kanina, laging Santa, ano ko lang di Santa Ana, Santa Rita. <laughs> so, yung laging... O anong comment lang. mo? Dapat ano, sister? Kulehiyo? Kulehiyo di Santa Rita, di San Carlos Incorporated. Ah, Kulehiyo di Santa Rita, di San Carlos Incorporated. Kasi kanina oh. lagi Kulehiyo di Santa Ana. Ikaw bang ka? <laughs> May Santa Ana sa okay, kapatid. Kulehiyo sa... Ana is in the Victorias. Victorias. Yes, yes. Uh-oh. Yes, diba? Uh, Opo. So, thank you, Toka. Thank you, thank you, Kayo. And congratulations also, sister. Uh, tapos, I hope adjusted gay, gay na, naman dyan. Gaya na, Dok, nag-abot na nga mo Mother Gerald kasi ka ang secretary. Si, nag-live lang, no? lunchtime, dala-dala ko cellphone ko dito, gatubang sa ilaga, cellphone ko. <laughs> Kaintindi man sila. <laughs> Oo. Oh. <laughs> Ayan po, at kay mabisit naman siya. Dari, tigil visit man ko doon Santa Rita sa Negros. Dari, mabisit pagid siya. Ah, sige Amo, lang. Ah, grabe, no? Gani, oo. Grabe, na taon man, nga. Nataon na abing, uh, dari, kodriya schedule. Tapos, ari man ko, dari, ang muna, kaduwa na ko eh. Kaduwa so, ka din siya eh. Kaduwa ang stress mo, sister. Congratulations, <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. sister. Happy to see thank you, you thank virtually. You, uh, thank you, thank you. At uh, like, oh. I think Doki uh, uh, what is this Doki Jet is raising his hand and appealing ma'am. also yes anak oo ma pasensya oh. nang since I'm using cellphone kay nagwa ko sa balay kay may wala kaso same ako, with cellphone, oh, same with Noli galagari makusubong may na schedule okay. na ni ahead so last year pa na schedule ako pro ano subong ng oo ng amo to ng congratulations ng sa mga co-dokis ko and mm-hmm. uh, this is a very challenging day no? especially sa ako <laughs> kay that's why I tap already Doc Doc Joanna last week to assist me with the hosting today kay morning lagi ko available kay entire afternoon ko ma'am will be very hectic gid that's why nga ako nakita nyo off cam ko laban kagagwa-gwa lang ko every time mag photo op. Ah, okay. So, amo lang na. So, um, ano lang, since this is our first uh, webinar for the semester, classmates ka, yata pa ni we still have two webinar, no? So, we'll be, I will improve, no? So, the following webinars that we'll be having or we'll be conducting. So, no worries lang. No, I, so am kaya afraid, tani, Jet, you know, I am afraid, Jet, that I do not know whether we can still have the two other seminar because the way I understand, they only approve one. And I am so sad. Oh. I am so sad because according to, according to Director Yang no, a while ago, that this is a very good expression and sharing of knowledge and ideas. And this is also networking. No? I, I take that word from, from her. So my heart bleeds. You just don't know the last the, the, for the last uh, four days that daw uh, hindi pa ma-approve ni Tani ini ang ini balang webinar, no? And then we keep on praying and we keep on appealing and uh, we sent all the documentation and then thanks be to God that na na approve man and then we're done already. So I do not know yet. Because they informed me that only one um, was approved. I'm planning also to go to to GSU next week. No, I do not know. Um, I have to maybe to talk to the dean. I I'm not just certain whether to go or not to go. No, I'm still discerning and praying at this point of time. So I'm sorry to Doctor. to be the bearer of this kind of news. But I always believe in student empowerment. I always believe in my student. And I know that doing, doing this so, um, things that we learn from the speakers, definitely whatever we will do inside the, cl- in, inside the virtual room, I will make you report. But the hands-on experience is a lifelong learning experience practical experience that what really matters most to me that's why we have this webinar so that you you can learn it from those who have done it <clears throat> however uh, i'm sorry to break the not so good news to all of you i i i've been lobbying for the approval of another seminar which will be on 
um, next Saturday. I'm also lobbying that the fee will be 2,000 for each speaker. And if it is 2,000, we will only allocate one hour. No, one hour for them to speak. <clears throat> and the 30 minutes for the question and answer portion. I do not know how, how will this be. But for the meantime, let us just be happy with your 110 grade in your DMBA 401. Let us just hold on to that, your 110 grade. No? And of course, if you submitted all the readings and all other requirements, you are assured of the 1.0 grade plus your narratives. Diba? Hmm. Sorry. I have done my best. I will still be doing my best. Help me pray. Ito sayang man, kay may, may feedback na ang faculty members namun sa school, um, useful daw kaayo aton webinar sa planning for the new school year. And um, they're looking forward to the next webinar on ta. Kay ma attend yeah. financial management to siya. So, yes. Get good feedback yes. From because in financial management, we have also our household, of which we have also to manage, no, as household. And then, if you are the breadwinner of the family, uh, no, and then of the school, of the enterprise, of the corporation, very useful gisya kaayo. Useful gisya tani kaayo. Ti magpangamuyo kita ni. I cannot understand why they are not approving it because my letter is based on the uh, GSU mission, vision, philosophy, objectives, and goal. I am, I am evaluating schools, and I know, no, and I know, I know to make, uh, to prepare a very good letter, which will merit approval. I, I am, I cannot just understand. At this point of time, let us just be, I, we cannot understand, and maybe uh, it, we will be enlightened later on for this matter. So although our message na gani aton the next will be, your contribution will be 334, if, if it, it will be 2,000 for one hour. Now I can I and then for the next uh let us say we will also do the same although I know that that is a very uh minimal honorarium to the speakers now the speakers have a long way to research and a long way to relate their experiences to whatever they're talking no and it's quite <clears throat> the empowerment and the learning that you will have. Diba? And then we, we will also be helping other people, especially those who are attending and those who are really listening very well and chatting notes and those of whom we have touched their lives and the speakers have touched their lives and likewise we are touched. We are also, our lives are also being touched. Uh, we know that <clears throat> we're we're doing this not for ourselves, but we're doing this for others. No? We're giving a free webinar. We're creating a very good image for the school. And so forth and so on. Um, yet, the explanation that was given to me, uh, uh, unlike with the private school, no? No, uh, the, the contribution, so I know that the contribution is very minimal. <clears throat> and uh, the contribution goes to the budget and finance and the budget and finance um, give that directly to the, what is this? To the, to the speakers, no? They are the one who transmits your money to the speakers and this is uh, advocacy. Unsagwa, kawang gawa mani natun for others. Iba? Because we spend also some sleepless nights in doing 
in 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 just organizing all of this no? but maybe what we can do is really just to pray as for the moment we will still pray we hope for the best and if it will not merit at all so we will look for other options okay i think doki anthony is raising his hand so may ara gid ang gobalandra kay doki anthony hi sorry doc good afternoon everyone so i'm i'm very happy you know that um another webinar was done today so like what we said Molly and Sir Jet, no, lagari mako today since it's weekend. So to be too busy, sa mga stores ng ginakapitan ko. But ah, yawan ko choreograph. Kaya kung gas screen in charge mo bang for the screenshots, especially sa speaker, blake ka dasig sa mga slides. Yawan ko lagas. So gas sulod gua, sulod gua ako. And of course, medyo challenging and. Congratulations, everyone, and thank you so much. Mashare lang kita na, or whoever has the screenshot, ishare lang naton, so that sa inyo consolidation ma ma kompleto ninyo. Thank you, Doki Anthony. That's all, or nadula ka lang, nadula ka naman. Nadula. Nadula ko kay may kakanawag. Amo pagining worries ko kay may dugay-dugay may ka-insert na wag. So, gaka-utod-utod. So, Gabby, for all the webinars, medyo ang muning challenging. Pero happy ko kay na na we cope things up until the end. So, congratulations and thank you so much to everyone and to you, Mommy. Congratulations, Doki Anthony. I know nga ang compilation and documentation challenging mangid ang work. So who else would like to speak? Ang ang nakabatyag nga sa eskwelahan may mumu. Kena ko siling ko ha 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 ha. Kore ka jan. Pala nindo kuno yang abalahibo sa eskwelahan kay sa eskwelahan nya to gin revise ang aton nga e poster. O pambaluntan ni siya. Go ahead. Doki Michael. <laughs> Hello everyone. So first and foremost, I would like to congratulate our group, especially to our chairman and to Mam Gina. Congratulations. Yes. Oh, so, since it is my second um, semester, so made jo hapos lang and I'm trying to still to observe Gina and I'm trying to participate sa sa run at mga program as well as the webinar. And after the webinar, so there is one professor from Cavite uh, State University, professor siya ng business. So nag-chat siya kung kung sisigin ko na makuha certificate. So ginas ko siya kung tagadiin. So nambal niya, nag-attend lang siya kasi nakita niya ang poster. So, Ikaw na lang ang tagsay yung certificate, Doki Mike? Yes, ma. Oh, yes, Doki. And ayun, hopefully another one person will be going to enroll sa haton niya family next semester so i have one friend who is inquiring last night so nag-enjoy siya ya nakikita atong pbt so ayun i just invited my first year to third year mba oh uh, bang handa mo man nag-attend congratulations by um uh, hm student so ayun lang and of course another task given to me and i'm hoping for the next webinar to take again another um um different task Yeah, what what's the difference, Duki Mike? Kung lain ang task. Ang moderator ko, ang moderator is that that was challenging. Tapos nagbalgani. That was my first time to moderate and to talk. Okay. And right now, sa iposer and ibig nga zoom background, medyo challenging man ang editing ang editing. So next, maisip ako kano pa ako gusto. So I want to challenge myself and. Ang introduction niya okay man sa imo? Introduction sang. Speaker. Hmm. Medyo ano lang, short. Sana nga, sige. So, I think it's short lang. Parang ang brief, no? So, tag, hindi man dabi kami, hindi ko naman siya kilala. So, so hindi ako ka-add something na mga words na i-define ang guest speaker. So, neutral lang dapat ako niya iyambal. So, okay. ayun. 
So we're looking for the next webinar, another <laughs> another assignment. Iba naman para madamo ko mabalan. So that's all. And I deserve to be on the beach right now. After this, mapanaw ko ya. <laughs> ah, mablow out kasi imo ko galingon. You deserve man, a blow out. Correct. Kung sa Monday, may summer class naman ko eh. So wala ko vacation. So congratulations, Dr. Michael, sa e-poster. Pag pag request alert ara dayon ah pag request amo ni ara dayon na dali wait wait lang pa wait lang ara dayon dugay dugay ah congratulations to kay Mike Thank Where you. is Duki Santa Where is Duki Santa Wala Duki na. Santa is in charge of the program pa ba ti antang iyang uh, balatsagon kalima bala sa nagluwat ang program Wala na siya do Nag-leave siya ba si? Oh, Doki Ishel! Good evening, everyone. Ara, good um, siya Hi. Ara, good siya. Uh, yes, yes, anak. <laughs> Thank you so much sa tanan, sa mga classmates ko, especially kay Doc Gina. Naging hatagan na gidakot chance. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, para makabawi man ako, nag-recruit gid ako sa mga students ko, six sections. So, nag-attend gid sila, ah, gamu-gamu sila. Wala ko ka dumukta. I, I wonder yes. why, nga pa ma, the wonder why pa ko, Aishel, eh, sin, sino man ni nag-recruit sa tagahan ni Wyman? And now, ako I si understand, Bri. ikaw gali. Yes, six sections na sila. So, sobrang sila 100 pa sa una. Tang, ano, tapos, um, ang iban ga matama, tap. Yung pang obrahan ko pa sila questions, maan sila, why sandal yung nag-chat ho? Ah, tatlo lang ito nakita ko. <laughs> Sige lang nga sa sunod. <laughs> Congratulations! I'm happy. Thank Damo you, Kamo. Damo ka na recruit. I'm so happy about that. Congrats, yes. kid, my dear. Thank you so much. Thank you. Duki Jet. Ara pa si Duki Jet gari, o? Duki J. Duki Jet, ayay pa malunta ka, anay. Di na ka na. Duki Jet. Duki. Duki Jet. Ma'am, sinuha Jet ba? Biklar. Biklar. Oh. Oh. Duki Jet Biklar. Ala si Maynen. Nakapal na ka pala si Maynen. Wala ka do. Oh, ala, sorry na. Kaina ta pa kagina ta pa kagina pa nung doom. Nas check in finale ma. Kung akaay na dula ka kay nga ah, si Jet ni sukatan ang ginakit ad ko ang grace san race san ikaw na tutani. Okay, uh, good evening. Okay, so, yes, good evening sa tanan. So as what you have said doc, this is the baptism of fire on my uh, on my case uh, since this is the very first time nga uh, to handle this uh, webinar and uh, I this is my first semester sa the MBA so as a new student uh, uh, in the program I have no um, experience yet with uh, this kind of uh, of activity so far after uh, more than five years of uh, being away from the academy so I just uh, go back last semester to uh, teach again and uh, this semester to uh, enroll in this uh, program. So thank you so much, Gid, sa kay Dr. Roslyn for always being there nga, nga to uh, facilitate everything sa sininga webinar. Sa ako kay isa nagapanamdum pa ako hama ko ano man daw wala gid ako sa nabulig sa webinar nga ini and sometimes I'm, I am texting or messaging her asking her what else can I help for the webinar so uh, si Doc Roslyn si Doc Roslyn very ano man siya ah, very helpful and accommodating man sa ako ni mga ng mga gina inquire sa iya and very supportive man siya sa ako <clears throat> ano humbal mo wala ka nang bully kikin invite mo si engineer ano pa na ang bully <laughs> oh so amo na gani i'm um, doc the feeling ko wala doc ba mo lang na akon pa fail diri sa webinar as a uh, co-chair so, hala amo lang na yang ako ni ginimo nag-invite lang 
kayo ang umpisa, ang una pag ginadok, he was hesitant to accept the invitation. Kaya ang balas ako, ma'am, hindi ko na iyaak. I have been away from the academy for more than 10 years na. Kaya, uh-huh. hindi na ako sanay maghambal. Ang balas niya, tama ko na uh-huh. siya, sige lang balas, sir, kaya kayang kaya mo na. Ah. Just, uh, ano lang, just share your experience. So, um, oh, that's good, good man. Na- kaya may mga Lebanon uh-huh. siya, may mga Malaysia, may mga India. Kaya ano na siya, oh, dok? Uh, Asia Pacific area ang iyang coverage. Oh, that's good. So, oh, kita na, mo? May speaker pa tayo galing nga pang Asia. Oh, na ano na na iya? That's an accomplishment. <laughs> diba? So, congratulations. Okay, you thank contributed. you. Kag, kag, ang, kag ano ba yun pala? Gin, gin share gin ni art ni engineer ang iya nga experience. And that's what really matters mm-hmm. most. Mm-hmm. So, congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Kag ano gid, uh, I have learned so much uh, in this uh, activity sa ato nyo webinar. Although I was I was not able actually I have uh, uh, invited some of my students. Tikay dito bala doc sa community college na to. I only have four students for the fourth year, apat lang. Tapos ang sa iba niya mga years, the mga 19, tapos ang iba naman niya mag uh, hambal nga ay wala man sila sa mga um Uh, connection, may na ang ilang nga day, ang signal. So, may isa ka to ka student, or actually daw duwa ka student, ang message sa akin niya sa Manila, hindi isla sila maka-join. I just wondering why kung nga ang hindi sila naka-join. So, kama ko sa ila, uh, have you registered? I am thinking uh, you have to register first before you can uh, enter the the room. So, wala naman sila nag-reply sa akin. So, I sent them sa mga registration at the same time, ang links ng ato nga webinar. So, wala. Ambot lang kung naka-join sila daw wala siguro. But I uh, I also tried to encourage them to join. Na. So, congratulations, Doki Mainen. Let's evaluate now, Juan, na nga, dasigay, dasigay lang kita. Let's evaluate our speakers now. How do you find, how do you find our first speaker? Doki Roslyn, thank you also for inviting your ano to, your relative. My niece, Doc. Ah, oh, inablos mo. So let's evaluate now. How do you find the first speaker? Come on, everybody. Very Come comprehensive, on. Doc. Very relevant. As in, damo. Gin, Doc, kaya nga, ano? Oo. Uh-uh. Happy. Ano? Yes. We're happy with the first speaker because ang iya ba lang, ha? ang mga projects gin share ya gid ang na-implement nga nga projects and that what really matters most kay ang atong lagas gid ya ang ila may experience di ba amo ginagin lagas taya wala na tamay gin lagas nga iban a ah? no their experiences so mm-hmm. uh, what about the second speaker the first speaker ka She can really speak very well to the director. Siya, no? She have the fluency, mm-hmm. the good command of the language. And then vast experience as well as the real ex- 